Okay, so we seem to be live as of now. So we're all good. Okay. <clears throat> yes, we are live. So I apologize, but I am a little bit sick today. And I am going to go ahead and advertise the stream on Instagram. How can I? Okay, we're going to type in the link manually because I don't want to copy and paste or anything. YouTube.com slash slash plankicorn LP slash live all right so advertised I hope that actually picks it up I hope we're good there anyways um so let's just go ahead and go over here we have five memories of battle now we're actually getting quite a bit of memories of battle I'm gonna go ahead and go to my bank and um, we have not done world v world and chill in a few days so gonna have to get back into the swing of things I have been playing world v world but I have not been streaming it because I have been kind of busy doing some other stuff that kind of uh, required my full attention. So, but that's fine. You know, sometimes you get in those situations like that, right? Sometimes you have to make these phone calls and everything. Um, so I think I need the boots still, the commander's boots. So we're going to make those. We're going to go ahead and make, first of all, uh, no, no, let's not get those. We need the boots. So the triumphant, uh, what are they? Triumphant uh, war greaves, I believe. Yes, that's heavy foot armor. We're also gonna get the obsidian shards, the mystic clovers, then the imperial fragments of dragonite ore. Very cool. All right. So now, how many of the actual commander's armor do we actually have? Or the not not necessarily the commander's armor, but the triumphant armor, right? Because this is, let's see, we have the commanders here, commanders that, commanders that, commanders, 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 and that is wanderers. So very close, instead of precision, you get the vitality. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, but no, I want, I want the commanders, and eventually we're going to make a commander's build someday. So we're going we're gonna to see about that. Someday we're going to have all the commander's gear. Not today, but someday. Um, <clears throat> gotta get some trinkets as well. I've got an amulet. I've also got two talismans. Um, so if I could just get like a back piece, it would be pretty easy to get the back piece because I would just need to go to Siren's Landing and uh, just basically farm the Orion Pearls and then I could get the back piece for that. And uh, where's my orange juice? I need orange juice. I need the uh, I need the back piece from uh, Siren's Landing, um, and then I could change it to Commander Stats because Commanders is a Heart of Thorns uh, stat set, which is really good because the Path of Fire ones are a huge pain in the butt to get. Um, as far as the accessories, the Commander's accessories. I could do the Mist Talismans, uh, but I could also do 
I could also just go and do the winterberry farm and everything like that to get the uh, black ice earring and everything. And that way I don't have to reset my accessories. But I might still, I might still use just my accessories. And then I'll do some other kind of farm for the rings. Um, as well as, I'm going to have to eventually get those missed rings. Um, they're prob but the, the problem with it though, is that they're probably going to cost um, World v. World skirmish claim tickets. And I'm not exactly sure I really want to spend those because I'm working on, um, I'm working on, um, what is it? I, I'm working on uh, the legendary armor, right? That's the whole reason for me doing this stream. And if I were to spend the World v. World skirmish claim tickets on just a PvE build, I don't know about that. I might, like, on my own time, work on some PvP, and maybe I could buy them for Ascended Shards of Glory. That could, that's a possibility. It's a definite possibility. But uh, we will see. So, um, so yesterday, I mean, I might talk a little bit about my uh, my days, my weekend. Hope you guys had a good weekend, by the way. Um, yesterday was Sunday, and I pretty much stayed inside all day because. First of all, it was really cold. Second of all, I was pretty sick, so unfortunately. And there's a rank up, by the way. We are rank 32, which is awesome. So we get some free gear and some money as well. And a chest of the mists, which is going to give us seven testimonies of heroics. Very, very cool. And it looks like we could probably follow this group. I'm not really sure. Um... I'm not really sure where they're going. This doesn't really look like a Zerg. It looks like just kind of a, a ragtag group of people. Look at this guild. AOL. <laughs> AOL. Army of Lightness. Why not just Army of Light? I mean, I feel like that would just be an effect. It'd be just as effective as a name. But, um... But, yeah. So, yesterday, I was pretty sick. Um, I, I feel like I'm a little bit better. I'm thinking I might... I, I was thinking that I might have the flu, but I, I'm starting not to think that because uh, because I feel a little bit better. Now, it could be false. I mean, it could be just like completely, completely false. It could, I could actually have the flu and it's just my body is making me think. It's not that stupid body. But um, it is flu season. I did not get the flu shot because I'm... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what went wrong, but I did not get the flu shot. Um, I... Let me see. I work around kids. It's getting super cold. It, it was super cold last week. I woke up one morning, and it was one degree outside. That was insane. I, can, I could not believe that. One single degree. And it's not the coldest weather I've ever been in. But that, I don't know, that was just, that's a little too cold. It was so cold that something actually screwed up the pipes in my house. And if you guys watched the previous World v. World and Chill, you will know that there were some people trying to fix the pipes. Because what, what was happening is that you could access the hot water, but not the cold water. Because, because of the cold weather, it was so weird. I, I, I've never, ever seen that happen before. But, uh, um, yeah, so I, that was just insanely cold. So super cold, flu season. I did, I work with kids. I did not get a flu shot, right? I mean, can't get much more dangerous than that. You know what I'm saying? Also, I'm probably going to die because this is a mirage and mirages are cancer. But <laughs> we're going to try. I mean, might as well try. It's also, I'm also up against several, oh, a couple of Mesmers. Yeah, no, that's not going to work. Nope. No, no, no. But we will go to Redwater Lowlands, and hopefully we can get something there. If you're new to this stream, if you're new to World v. World and Chill, then you will know that this is a very laid-back stream. Or, you will not know, but if, if you're not new, if, you, if you're a veteran to this series, you will know that it is a very laid-back stream. And um, I just kind of go around and I enjoy myself. I have a good time. I earn pips. I get closer and closer to the legendary armor. 
And I do that through the skirmish chests and of course through the World v. World skirmish claim tickets and to a certain extent to the va badges of honor, but I think I probably have almost all the ones that I actually will need by this point. So, I mean, it's not as much about the badges of honor, it's more about the World v. World uh, skirmish claim tickets. But, you know, there is that. And... I wonder if I should advertise on Snapchat as well. <sighs> Let's see. And we're going to change it. Okay, I'm posting it to my Snapchat. <coughs> advertising the stream any place I can this is gonna I, I'm gonna freaking make this happen this is gonna happen I I hired a graphic designer to redesign the Plankicorn logo and that's gonna happen too it's gonna happen probably within the next day or so I'm probably gonna get the, at least the first iteration I might need to ask him for a revision but I kind of doubt it I kind of trust his graphic design and at some point I'm probably going to um, make an intro it's gonna cost me some extra money but I'm gonna I'm gonna hire a, a professional animator to to make an animated intro that'll be cool also we can go ahead and uh, destroy this supervisor so that is what we're going to do and I'm kind of thinking about what are some good uh, good like home remedies for like for chest congestion because I've been having some chest congestion and you know i'm i'm just wondering right i'm just wondering about the, what are some what are some good remedies for it also i got a chest what is this chest nice gear. a trans oh it's for my dailies okay cool and that has some instant world v world uh progress so i got uh, two bear loot boxes very cool and i actually got a ro i got a uh, rare out of that so that is also cool. And I don't know where I was. I actually am in the last World v. World and Chill. I actually was on the repeatable version of Diamond. And then we switched over and I did a little bit of wood before getting off. And I'm now on gold. So that just goes to show how much I've actually done off camera. I, I got on yesterday and I worked my way through wood. And I worked my way through wood and all the way through bronze and then through like half of silver and then today like before the stream started i had some things to do like on the phone and stuff and i worked my way the rest of the way through silver and now on gold so you know that happens occasionally it's gotta happen you know sometimes it's just what you gotta do we're gonna go ahead and salvage this rare see if we can get some good stuff out of it and we did not <laughs> we didn't even get one ecto but that's fine because there are sometimes actually there are quite a bit of times um when um there there are actually quite many times when i will salvage a rare and i will get like three ectos from it so you know you just got to keep that in mind i really apologize for the congestion by the way i really wish i could take care of that Really wish my nose was not so congested like it is. But, uh, happens. Can't help it. Can't do anything about it. Also, what is going on with the stream health? I don't actually know if it's streaming properly. Um, I can't tell. Because... On my web browser I'm gonna go there on my phone and just see if it's streaming properly because if it is okay it looks like it's streaming properly and I'm also dead <laughs> because I had to I had to check it, it does look like it's streaming properly it looks like there are no like really bad lag issues or anything um, I was just kind of curious because um, what's it called I was curious. 
I don't know. I don't remember what else. I was kind of, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was curious because um, when I look on my computer, it, it looks really choppy and I'm like really afraid of that. So I wanted to check my phone. Phone uses Wi, uh, does not use Wi-Fi, it uses data. So I'm not actually interfering with the bandwidth. I also got, uh, did I get two arrow carts? It's kind of cool. I have so many freaking Siege Blueprints, I just have so many. I mean, how much did the Alpha Golem thing sell for? Let's see. Uh, four silver apiece. Not bad. I'm just gonna have so freaking many. Like, I'm just... By the time I get my legendary armor, even one piece, I'm just, my thing is gonna be, like, full of Blueprints. Can you actually sell these? You can actually sell the superior blueprints. Which is super cool. Do they actually sell for a lot? This is an arrow card. Oh yeah, three silver apiece. And let's go ahead and do that. And I just want to make sure like the stuff is aligned properly. There you go. There we go. So we got that. And and I think that's where the thing actually ends, where I like, I can click compact and it doesn't mess everything up. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. I think that'll work out pretty well. Um, oh, Boris Speshnov, subscribe to me, thank you. Thank you so much. And a new comment on my World v. World of Chill from Mia Lee. Oh, Mia Lee says I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Okay. Who is this? I feel like I've seen this person before. I don't know. I feel like I know who this person is. Oh well. Anyway. So back to the stream. Um, uh, what was I even saying? I don't remember. But, uh... But yeah, from my phone, things seem to be looking okay. And I will go ahead and uh, just just keep it up on my phone just to ensure that the stream health is actually as good as YouTube says it is. So let me just go ahead and just set that up. It'll just take me a second here. For breakfast, since I was really sick, I'm also gonna run away. I'm totally gonna abandon my teammates. <laughs> Um, since I was really sick today, for breakfast I actually ate some seaweed soup, and boy howdy, that was good. That was very, very good. I ate some seaweed soup with some rice and a sausage, and then I had an, yes, snack cake, and that was really freaking good as well. So, I mean, a word to the wise, and I just have something to say about that saying, right after I'm done saying this, but word to the wise, um, uh, yeah, eat that stuff when you're sick, because it's really good for you, and you're gonna get better, and it actually tastes really good as well, seaweed soup, um, that is a scourge with lots of corruption, that's not good, uh, yeah, so the saying word to the wise is kind of interesting, because, um, am I? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna die here. <laughs> yeah, solo doesn't usually work out too well for me. It also appears to be there's a warrior in here. Yep, yeah, core warrior. Boom. Earthshaker. Earthshaker. Oh. Uh oh. Uh-oh, he's going to kill me. Yep, I kind of expected that considering this is a th 4, 5, 6 v 1. I was, well, it's, it's really like a 3 v 3 v 1. It's sort of like that. Um, let me go ahead and go to my creator studio. I'm going to stop eating up my bandwidth by viewing the stream on my computer. And I got... Because I got a comment from Mia Lee. It says, I love you. 
And I'm going to respond to it real quick. Because I respond to my viewers. I care about my viewers. And I love them. So... Who is this? I, I feel like I know this person. I really feel like I know this person. This is quite weird to me. How much participation? I still have tier 6 participation, so I am okay. I am doing alright, and I am actually almost to the first reward, which means I'm almost one-eighth of the way to my next triumphant armor piece. Very cool. Um, now, I actually want to see what, what all I have. I want to see triumphant... Triumphant. I got the helmet. I do not have the shoulders. The breastplate, I do not have the gloves either. Okay, so I have four out of six. I'm going to go ahead and go... I'm going to respond. I, I responded to that. Who even is this person? I have a video link in the about page. What is this? I'm not going to view that video. I'm just I'm just responding to the comment and that's it. So Mia Lee, if you're watching, you know, thanks for the comment and everything, but I'm not gonna view that video. Let's go to, well, I was going to go to Redwater Lowlands, but it's got a four-minute timer on it, and I really don't want to deal with that four-minute timer. So I am going to instead just take a look at my world abilities very casually, very awesomely, right? Um, let's take a look at the things we still have to get. Now, we have to get one more point in order for us to get the Provisions Master. And that would be cool. I mean... You know, I would love to be able to get the Provisions Master thing, the uh, purchasing food and utility items, uh, and then also automatically pick up loot from fallen foes. That's a pretty good one. And I would have to advance in, let me see, 46 more ranks in order to finish off the rest of this, which means I would actually need to be 78, rank 78, and if I only went for this, and then I could actually finish off the Provisions Master. Which would be okay. I mean, there's not a lot that's, like, like really good right away. So you could just go for, like, long-term goals and stuff. And it's not like the points required to, to rank up exponentially increase. So that's not really a problem either. But, you know. It happens... Oh, and my friend Dylan liked my post. So, hello, Dylan. I don't know if Dylan's going to actually watch, but hopefully. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Come on, kill this guy. Oh, yeah, I knocked him down. Come on. Herald. It's a Herald. Yes, backbreaker. Boom, boom, boom. Earthshaker, boom. Oh, no, come on. Full counter. Boom, Earthshaker again. Let's do it. Dude, I freaking got you. I got you. Don't even front, man. Look at this. Wastrel's ruin. I got you. Look. <laughs> I got him. Got him. Backbreaker. Oh, I can't do it yet. Boom. Backbreaker. I got him. I feel so happy about that. That was like a really... That was awesome. That was an awesome fight. And I'm so happy about that. Leave me in the comments or like in the chat if you're watching this live. What was the awesome, the most awesome kill that you've ever gotten in PvP or World v. World? Just let me know in the comments or the chat. Chat if you're watching live. Comments if you're not. If you're watching this after the fact. Which I think I think a lot of people do watch this after the fact and not actually catch it live, which is fine. 
So I have 20 memories of battle over here. What am I actually going to do with these? I kind of feel like I should keep them, but I could sell all of them for a, for a whole gold. All right, so a destroyer loot box. What do I get from this? Nice Three obsidian shards is really the main thing. I have gotten ascended armor from these things before. Ascended armor is so fun to get. It's so, so cool to get. Um, and I, especially because I'm still working on my Harrier's set. I've still got to get the armor of the Harrier. I've, I've got, um, I've got the exotic set, right? I've got everything at least in exotic, but I don't have all pieces ascended, so I need to, um, oh, wow, holy frick! Hollow Smith and Daredevil, man, what is, wow! Wow! That was insane! Those people are... Those people are insanely good. Alright, so... Let's see what we're... What's going on right now. I'm gonna go back to my live dashboard really quick. Just to, uh... Just to check on the stream health. Just to make sure everything's going alright. And... It appears as though everything is going back... Going okay... OBS seems to be streaming okay as well. And it says the stream health is going all right, which is absolutely fantastic. So we are going to keep it like this. And I'm just gonna like stop it on my on my computer. Like I'm gonna stop actually viewing it. So it doesn't take up my bandwidth because bandwidth is kind of precious at the moment because I'm in Korea and the servers are very far away. <laughs> So my ping is 216 right now, and uh, and it could be easily higher than that. So I need to be careful. I need to be very careful. Oh, did I do the lay energy matter converter today? I did not. Very cool. So let's see what we can do. Um, no bags of obsidian. Very very interesting. There are no bags of obsidian shards. Um, are they doing this on purpose? Is that what they're doing? But we need the ley line crystals anyway, so let's just go ahead and get that. And eventually I'm gonna have to do the Tereer meta a few a few more times just to get some more Aurelium and everything. And uh, basically work my way up from that. I like to do the Tereer meta. It's, it's quite fun. Uh, it's really the most fun meta in my opinion. I mean, like, I prefer Path of Fire to uh, to Heart of Thorns, but at the same time, the Tereer meta definitely beats, definitely beats all the Path of Fire metas, in my opinion. There are some fun ones, the Augury Rock is one of them, uh, the Path to Ascension, I can't remember exactly what the meta is called, but the one at Augury Rock, that's a really cool meta. Serpent's Ire is kind of fun, um, it, it takes a lot of people though, and it takes a lot of organization, and people have to actually know what they're doing with the CC skills and everything like that. Um, in my opinion, the, the casino meta in Amnoon is not, not that great. Um, it's okay. I mean, I think people mainly do it for the chance at getting that, uh, Choya Pinata thing. But, uh, also, oh, that's a real player, I didn't even notice. Okay, let's see if I can just, like, take this guy down real quick. Full counter. Boom. I dazed him. I don't know if he was immune to that or not, but we just got to take out the supervisor. Supervisor does a ton of damage, and we want to make sure that we do not become subject to that damage. Yeah, he's running away. We got this. We got this. Don't even front, man. Don't even front. All right. So, working towards our second gold reward. Gaining 9 pips per tick, which is as much as we could possibly get unless we were commanding a squad. Uh, commanding a squad would be good. That would be an extra tick. However, or it would be an extra pip per tick. Um, but I don't think... Also, we lost Stone Mist Castle. Of course, if there was going to be one server that freaking stole Stone Mist Castle from us, it would be Blackgate. Blackgate is freaking annoying. They are the one server that can beat Maguma in kill death ratio and and capturing Stone Mist Castle. I mean, so many times I look and Maguma controls Stone Mist Castle, but we can't hold it very well against Blackgate. 
it's just really difficult so it's just like you gotta it, it, I don't know and plus Blackgate has these people that just that just guard stuff right they just sit back and they just guard things and just 24 7 they've got Google Docs and everything and <laughs> spreadsheets <laughs> It's too much. It's too much. Uh, all right. And let's go ahead and... Okay, it looks like uh, our, our buddy has this captured. Gaining us a little bit of war score. We're so far behind. Sea of Sorrows is actually ahead of Blackgate, but... Not by a whole lot. We're behind by so much. Maguma already is not a server that's really good with war score already and look we're not even outnumbered anymore which kind of sucks so it's probably a lot of people are going to leave and we're going to stop being out and then we're going to start being outnumbered again by next tick hopefully because i don't want to just keep getting four tick or four pips per tick um look at this we have one single keep let's see which one is it is it ours? No, it's the it's our one that we have in uh, the Eternal Battlegrounds. <laughs> Maguma Overlook is what we have. It's a single keep, and then four of our six towers that we control are in the Eternal Battlegrounds. Uh, we control one here, and didn't it say we could? Oh no, we only control five. So we control four four in the Eternal Battlegrounds and one in our own Borderlands, and that's it. That's it. Oh, Maguma's. Maguma sucks right now, I just have to say. Also, I don't know if you're if you're gonna be uh, watching this chat, um, but uh, the chat actually I, I set it up where there's an actual uh, there's an actual overlay on the live stream. So I'm gonna test watch this test chat, and then it should actually come up. Yes, it actually come up came up. Test chat. Um, okay, and hold on. I'm being asked to go check the water in my kitchen again. So hold on one second. Be right back. I am back. Okay. Very cool. So yeah, I have an overlay now. Um, I... I experimented a little bit with overlays. Um, Streamlabs actually helped me a lot. Here's a spellbreaker. Okay, let's see if we can get this. He's got stability already. Boom. Is he AFK? What is he doing? He's AFK. That's pretty funny. Well, that's fine. Free kill, right? Sweet. I am okay with this. I am very okay with this. I also have it set up, by the way, to where if somebody subscribes to my channel, then it plays like a little animation on top of the stream. It's pretty cool. Um, I actually really like it. I really like the... Um, the thing that I can do, like, uh, let me see if I can just log in with YouTube really quick to Streamlabs. And I really wish Firefox was faster, but can't really do anything about it, can I? I guess I could use Chrome. <laughs> could use Chrome. Oh crap, no, 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 that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, it's Sejin! Hello, Sejin! I'm so glad to see you. I'm glad that, that you showed up for the stream.
Okay, and um, let me see. I'm just going to do a test subscriber just so you can see the little animation that plays. Am I outnumbered? Oh, I'm outnumbered once again. Very cool. Okay. So once I can actually access this, I'm going to to check it out. It's loading. All right. We got this. And we got the alert box here. And when I go to the test subscriber... Okay, test subscriber. Watch this. This is so cool. Watch. Boom. Boom! Hi! <laughs> it's really cool! It's such a cool little animation, so... Uh, if somebody is watching this and you subscribe during the chat or during the stream, then that little animation shows and it kind of advertises your name. It's pretty cool. I love that. And I set up the GIF too. I, se I set it up to where it goes, Hi! With that one. Okay, so we are capturing this ruin right now. And we are outnumbered, which is so cool, because we're almost going to be to the second gold reward in the next tick, which is in three and a half minutes. I've also finally, I finally have a way that I can uh, view the chat while I'm in game. I don't actually need to view it on my phone which is so, so cool. It's just on the game right here. You can't actually see it, but I can see it right here. Uh, actually, yeah, yeah, you can see my mouse right now. It's it's right here. And uh, so I can read uh, the chat without viewing it on my phone. It is so, so useful to me. Because I only have one monitor. I only have one computer monitor. And, uh, oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Because I only have one monitor, and uh, I don't really want to buy another one right now. So eventually I am going to want one, but not at the moment. So so it's good to have kind of a special tool that will help me uh, before I reach that point. Before I reach the point of getting another monitor. Man. I'm just going to say again, the... What I had for breakfast, because I'm sick, I had miyoku, which is seaweed soup. Oh, so good. I love miyoku, and especially when I'm sick, it helps me out so much. It was just very useful. This is two people. I'm going to die. This is. I'm definitely going to die here. There's no way I survived this. Boom. I tried full counter. I failed. Boom. I, I succeeded that time, but... Yeah. Yeah, it says that I'm, I'm quite sick at the moment. I feel like I'm getting better, though. I, I, I kind of, for a while, I was thinking I had the flu, but I'm, I'm sort of maybe thinking that I don't have the flu now. Um, and I thought I had the flu. I'm dead. <laughs> I thought I had the flu because it's flu season, and I didn't get the flu shot. And I work around kids, and the weather got super cold last week. There's so many reasons that just could be building up to it, but I seem to be better today than I was yesterday. And I also don't feel achy. Like, my my joints are not really achy like they are when I have the flu. So I'm kind of thinking that I probably don't have the flu. I probably just have a really bad cold. We'll see, though. I mean, I don't know. But, but the Miyoku... Yeah, the super cold weather, that was not fun. That was just insane. That was... I woke up one morning, it was one degree outside. Are you kidding me? Like, one degree? No, stop. But it's fine. It is it is warmer now. It is, it's still cold, but it's warmer now. 17 degrees outside. And so I think probably what happened before was it was just like a cold front. And negative 15, negative 17, negative 20. Yeah. It just was getting colder and colder for a while. But yeah, like I said, it's it's all good now and, and we seem to be okay. Um and especially it helps because I need to I have to go to work tomorrow, so I don't want to uh I don't want to um oh what's it called? Also I died because of this guy. It was Hollow Smith. 
I can fight all these NPCs and I can fight a Hollowsmith one on one. Can't fight them both at the same time. But uh, but yeah, we have. Um, I have to go to work tomorrow, and and so being like super cold when I have to go to work, yeah, that's not gonna be fun. But it's warming up, so I think I'll be all right. I, I think it's gonna be all right. We'll just have to see, you know. I'll just have to check on the weather. I check on the weather every day, and I just kind of keep an eye on the forecast, and I basically decide when I'm going to need to go outside based on that because I can't stand cold weather. It says, 추운데 옷 따뜻하게 입고 다니세요. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I will. For anyone that cannot speak Korean that says um, it's very cold, but uh, wear clothes, uh, like uh, wear a lot of clothes so you're warm um, when you go outside. That's what that says. If you cannot speak Korean, um, which there may be some viewers of the stream that can speak Korean, such as Sejin herself. It's always nice when I get a Korean viewer because um, it's it's just kind of comforting. It's pretty cool that people from Korea actually view my videos. Um, it's not something that I really anticipated. I'm thinking about maybe soon starting up like some vlogs or something where I talk about my life in Korea. That could be fun, right? But I would need, I would probably want to answer some questions. Like, I probably would want to ask some questions to uh, to my viewers and then just have them like, <clears throat> and I would, I would probably want to have them like ask questions like, okay, what do you want to know about my life in Korea? And then that could be answered by either Korean people or people that have never been to Korea. Uh, or perhaps fellow expats that live in Korea, and then when I when I answer those questions, that I can keep them in mind and actually try and answer them on the on the video in a way that kind of addresses the person that asked it. So I don't know, but uh, but yeah, of course, at any time, if you've got a question about my life in Korea or anything, um, please feel free to let me know in the chat if you're watching live in the comments if you're not watching live, um, and I will be happy to answer it. Uh, the problem is, I just don't know exactly what questions people want answered, so um, you know, I know I know at this point a lot about living in Korea, but it's just. I don't exactly know what people want to know about living in Korea, um, and it's fun. It's so fun to live in Korea, but I don't. I don't know exactly what to talk about about uh, about being in Korea. Let me see. Why is Korea so good? Plus beautiful. Plus amazing. Plus number one. <laughs> well, let's see. Korea is good because because people are friendly to me. Um, because it's it, even though there is a problem with of discrimination like there is in any country um the times that i have experienced it have been very few and far between and so because of that um i i just don't have to deal with it as often and so it's it's always nice you know when i don't you, you just kind of have a break from it a little bit of a break as opposed to other countries when you may experience it a lot more often you know it's yeah. Um, now, why is it beautiful? Because, I mean, as, especially the cherry blossoms. The cherry blossoms, I think, are one of the most beautiful things in Korea. Um, I'm also going to die very soon. <laughs> I died. Um, the, I think the cherry blossoms, especially in spring, like early, early spring, I think they're some of the most beautiful things in Korea, especially... And the very earliest parts of of spring, when they are not pink but white, it's just so pretty. And all the mountains, like Korea, has so many mountains. And um, just being able to like look off in the distance and you see maybe a cityscape, but if you don't see a cityscape, you see like actual rigid mountains, especially in Seoul. And it's just so beautiful. That is the beautiful part. Amazing is basically the same as good. Um, I mean, I love the food here. I love kalguksu. I eat miyokguk for um, for breakfast. I also ate sausage and rice for breakfast. It was excellent. It was amazing. Um, number one, I don't know exactly about number one, but 
but definitely it's up there. If if I had to rank Korea on my own personal in my own personal mind, then probably it would be number two. America number one, and Korea's number two. And America's really number one for me because it's my culture, it's my home and everything. But you know, uh, I I just I love being in Korea. My life in Korea is just amazing. And I'm just so, so happy that I actually made the choice. I'm also going to get out of here before I die a horrible and and very grisly dark death. I'm definitely going to get out of here. Let me get myself some swiftness. Oh, jeez. No, no. Just, just, just pass me by, guys. Just uh, don't pay any attention to me. Yeah, I knew somebody would see me. Crap. Got balanced stance. All right, here we go. Come on. I've also got a stump. Oh, I've got stealth. Oh, thank you. That's a daredevil. Giving me, giving me stealth. Oh, he's leaving me behind. She. She's leaving me behind. Uh oh. This is not good. This is not good. Hey, well, actually, she's not totally leaving me behind. Endure pain. <laughs> Come on. No, just keep going. All right, you know, uh, yep, yeah, no, I'm dead. <laughs> I couldn't do it. I couldn't actually outrun him. If you're watching the stream, by the way, and you're enjoying, um, then feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, it helps out so much. I just, I do this because I love it and I really enjoy it. And any amount of support that I can get is just so, so helpful. Um, also, there's a little added benefit. If, if anybody's watching that did not see this, um, there is an added benefit if you subscribe, then a little animation plays on the screen. It's pretty cool. Um, I can actually test that out right now if you want. I can actually, uh, I can actually do a test subscriber. Boom, and it plays this little animation thing on the screen. It plays this sound, and it says "ho," and this person just subscribed. So, if you're enjoying the stream, then please feel free to subscribe so you can have that little thing play for you. And it will tell me who subscribed. I can take. Thank you. Har. Yes, exactly. Har. Uh, let's see. Can we capture this right now? Oh, it's on a four and a half minute timer. I'm not waiting that long. But I will go and see if I can capture some ruins. We will see how far we can get. And hopefully we can get very far. I mean, we're going to try. Um, also, please, if you're enjoying this, please share this. Please share the stream. That also helps. Because, um, you know, just knowing that people are enjoying my content, that's really, you know, that's really why I do this. I was, I was talking to this, talking about this to somebody recently, and, you know, they're like, you know, why are you going to still make videos even though YouTube is demonetizing you? And my reason is the same as it has always been, you know. I think this demonetization event has been very telling about some YouTubers. I think it's been very, very telling about the reason why a lot of people do this. And the thing is, I've been saying from the beginning that I love making YouTube videos and that I do it because I like to. And that if I make some money from it, that's an added benefit. Of course, I appreciate the money, but it's not why I do that. And while I was monetized, I could easily say it and you, and you could easily disbelieve it and be incredulous of it where where uh, I would say that while I was monetized and you would think oh yeah sure you know of course you say that because you're actually gaining money from it but what's gonna happen if you don't make money from it well that's what's happening right now I'm I'm getting that taken away from me and while it is disappointing yeah money 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 while it is disappointing um, that I won't, will no longer be able to make money from YouTube videos unless I like grow the channel significantly I'm still going to make videos, and and I'm still doing that because I like to. I enjoy it. And, you know, I feel like YouTube needs more of these people. YouTube needs more of these people that do it because they enjoy it. And and the people, the people that enjoy making videos, honestly, those are the people that need to be making the money from it. Also, the Winds of Disenchantment really didn't affect me that much because, yeah. Oh, well. Um... But yeah, I mean, so I mean, that's why I do it. That's I I I do it because I enjoy it. Um, you know, I actually look forward every day to being able to do a live stream like this, 
and and to be able to actually talk to people that join many people many times people will just like join and just hang out and they won't actually say anything in the chat and i guess that's fine i guess i can understand uh maybe some people will join and they're like not logged into their youtube account or whatever they don't, or they don't just they just don't feel like chatting and that's totally fine you know i can understand the mentality because i've done that before but i look forward to that I look forward to being able to entertain. I look forward to being able to, let me see, charge <laughs> Sayo. Yes. Yeah, so far I've been okay. I mean, uh, there have been some setbacks recently, like how I got sick, and um, I need to make some like copies of these test papers for my Hagwon. Um, and I've got to do that like pretty soon, either today or tomorrow. And I go to work tomorrow, and there might be a lot of other people using the copier tomorrow. So, yeah, that is going to be kind of annoying, but, um, but it's fine, you know. Uh, overall, I can't really complain. My job is fun. My job is easy, and and ultimately, I get to look forward to YouTube every day. So, there's that. Um, and we got some cool stuff also coming up as well because like I've got my guild and my guild is like it's going to be doing this once a week where once a week we're going to have a guild group and it's going to be sort of like a guild world view world and chill it's going to be me and Dizzy Doom and um, and some other people hopefully there's a guy, um, guy named Amir that is going to be joining us and uh, I'm actually gonna see. I'm gonna see if I can convince him to make a YouTube channel. That would be really cool. Crazy friend, yes. Dizzy, Dizzy is my crazy friend. Um, and and he joined us actually for the last Guild World of the World and Chill, uh, which was the last one, I believe. I can't remember. It was a couple of days ago. I think it was the 27th. Um, yeah, he joined us for that. That was only like an hour, and I couldn't stream for as long because some people were working on the pipes in my house. Um, and that was kind of a shame, but, uh, but yeah, that, um, he joined us for that, and also Amir joined us, uh, and, you know, that was, that was fun. It was a really good time, and I really am looking forward to being able to do it next week as well, uh, or this week. I can't, I can't really remember, but February 3rd, let me see, February 3rd, I have to go to Gangnam again. I have to go to the doctor in, in Gangnam. And, um, it is a, what is it? It's a skin clinic, I believe. It's a dermatology clinic. And I have to actually go there on Saturday. And so I may not be able to live stream on Saturday morning, which will be Friday night, uh, for Americans. And so that's kind of a shame. Where's my orange juice? Got to drink that orange juice. Yeah, but, but as far as... What's going to be coming out that day? There might be some other kind of video that I put out that day. I do have a video of a game called This Merchant Life, and I might put that out on Saturday. Um, let me see. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I'm not going to answer that I'm not going to answer that question. Um, but thank you for asking me. <laughs> um, that's a question I don't answer for anybody. Probably there are some people that don't like it. <laughs> yep, I kind of expected that reaction. Nobody likes that answer. Wow, what is this? What is this? I can't attack this guy. I can't attack this Dolyak. No, nothing. Wow, this is like a ghost Dolyak. That's really weird. Yeah, nobody likes that answer. But I give it anyway, because no one can know. No, oh no, no one can go as well. No one can go over there. I am not going over there. I'm thinking of also making a video about my worldview world builds. Also, somebody was finally able to damage that Dolyak. I'm, I'm thinking about uh, making a video about my World v. World Spellbreaker build. Because uh, it's a fun build to use. And I feel like it could maybe help some other Spellbreakers. A lot of Spellbreakers use the meta Greatsword Hammer build. 
and you know that's fine i mean there's a reason i if you've seen my is meta required video then you will know that you don't know how i believe about that you know that there is a reason that it's a meta and i can understand that it's a good build it allows for for a lot of room for mistakes uh, but at the same time, it's, the, it's not the only viable build. And the build that I'm using, I have a lot of fun with. And do I get owned a lot? Yeah, I do. I get owned quite a bit. But in the end, I'm having fun. And that's really the main goal, isn't it? So, you know, a lot of people talk about, yeah, you know, the primary goal is to have fun. Also, oh no, oh no, not gonna happen. Nope. <laughs> I almost killed that guy or that girl and then I just, no, all these people showed up. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Juggernaut. Boom. Um, how, how do I, how, I mean, how can I even answer that question? Because if I, if I, um, if I say, oh, yes, <laughs> then you know the answer to the previous questions could be yes. Uh, by the way, if you can't speak Korean, that, that question says, is she beautiful? Is she a beautiful girl? And, um, and I, I'm saying that I can't really answer that question either because if I say, oh, yes, she is, then you'll say that, oh, yeah, well, definitely you have a girlfriend then. But if I say, uh, yeah, that's, that's why you asked. I knew it. I knew that's why you asked. But that's fine. I mean... I know you got you got your tricks. You got the tricks trying to trick me. But no, I'm not going to answer that question. But probably to answer a follow-up question, I'm not gay. <laughs> because <coughs> it might seem a little suspicious if I will not answer a question about do I have a girlfriend or not. But no, I'm not. And I am also about to die, so... Oh, crap. No, I, I, I don't think I can take all those people on at once. That's a guild group. That's like, uh, that's like when, we, when we were doing the, uh, the Guild World v. World and Chill. The, um, uh, we were kind of formidable. That's Ice Plank! Ice Plank! Not the Chinguis. No, I do not. I will answer that. I do not have a boyfriend. I'm not into guys. <laughs> You asked for it. <laughs> Maybe I did. But no, the answer is no. <laughs> I'm instead going to go... I'm actually going to go just straight out. Let's see if we can find any solo roamers on the way. And see if we can capture any ruins. That would be very cool. Um, I'm gonna drink some more of this orange juice because orange juice is freaking amazing and it really helps a sore throat by the way if you guys ever have like if you have a sore throat then orange juice I don't know if you guys knew this but especially a lot of Korean people that I've talked to never knew this but you can drink orange juice and it really helps like the the acid from the orange juice the citric acid actually will like like destroy like completely annihilate and decimate the bacteria in your throat <laughs> it will kill it it will slaughter the bacteria in your throat and um and it will actually kind of clean up your throat and it will like it really helps and that's why i'm just i've just got this big huge bottle of orange juice it's actually teju kamgyur soju works too <laughs> I've never tried soju, and I will not. This is Teju Kamgyur. It's one and a half liters. And it's just, uh, just drink directly out of that bottle. I'm going to finish that bottle off today, probably. It's just so good. And I just love, I love orange juice. I'm an orange boy. Orange, orange boy. I'm an orange guy, because I'm from Florida. Floridians like oranges. I mean, I guess that's what I tell. That's what I tell Korean people anyway. I don't really know if a lot of my, if a lot of my friends like oranges, but, but I like oranges, and I'm from Florida, and they grow a lot of cool, good oranges. Orange like Trump. 
All right, we got the memes going. Let's get some more spicy memes. <laughs> yep, orange like Trump. Trump's like an Oompa Loompa. Okay, so we got to nine more pips. We're also going to die again from a Herald. I don't know if this was the same Herald that I... Oh, it's the Herald that I almost killed at one time. Boom, backbreaker and earthshaker. Boom, I did not daze, but I will. Full counter. Boom, I was able to interrupt her. And earthshaker. Boom. Oh, 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 get out of that area. I don't know what's going on right now. And full counter. Boom. Oh, I did not actually full counter. That's not good. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, almost, almost. No, 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 get away, get away, get away. No, don't get away. Don't actually come here. That's what I actually want you to do. Oh, yes, I downed. Let me see. Kimchi to Chuaheyo. Yes, I do. I do like kimchi. I actually really love kimchi. Um, I actually ate some kimchi yesterday and the day before at home. It was very good. Um, kimchi is one of my favorite Korean foods, honestly. I also really like, um, a, a lot of Korean people are surprised that I like this, but I like Yarmu kimchi. Um, and a lot of people are, a lot of Korean people are surprised that I even know about that stuff. And I also destroyed that Herald, so... That's me, Yokushinaya! <laughs> uh, yeah, but a lot of Korean people are even surprised that I know about Yarmu kimchi, but it's, it's just kind of kimchi and it tastes in my opinion if I had to describe it I would say that it's like uh, buffalo kimchi it's it's pretty good I really enjoy it um, yeah it's it's really good Charanda, thank you um, yeah but I I like a lot of uh, Korean foods um, the other day I ate mandu -gu. that was really good I really like mandu and I have also made, um, by myself, actually, I have made uh, some soyang mandu. I call them soyang mandu because, um, because they're like chijiboga mandu, like cheeseburger dumplings. And those are really good. And then also pizza mandu. Those are good. I don't know if I've talked about that before on stream. I, I may have. I may be completely repeating myself like a freaking idiot, but... But, uh, but those are really, really good, and, um, and I also want to make some other things, like seafood ma mandu, um, maybe breakfast mandu, like mandu, like a dumpling with some, like, eggs, bacon, and sausage, or something like that, um, that could be very, very good, and, like, breakfast mandu, and, and just part of my, my soyang mandu, because... Like, uh, I don't know, it's, it'd be, <laughs> there's a frowny face, why is it a frowny face? I also like normal mandu. <laughs> I like normal mandu too. And when I, when I eat mandu goop, when I add mandu soup, dumpling soup, uh, I'm translating it to English for the people that may not speak Korean in the stream. Oh, drool face. Okay, I, oh, that's what it is. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't see it. Um, yeah, it's they're so good. When I when I tried the cheeseburger mandu, actually when I went when I went uh, down to Florida for um, for Christmas, I made some cheeseburger mandu for my parents and they loved it. <laughs> Do you make for your girlfriend too? I can't. I can't answer that question. I'm not going to answer that question. <laughs> Another Korean dish that I actually made, I, I sort of, I sort of not Korean because it's maybe like fusion sort of. It's some, something that I made by myself. It's like my own food. Um, I made a soup where I just put some really healthy stuff in it. I just really wanted a healthy soup that I could, um, that I could just, I don't know, like, I, I, I just wanted a healthy soup that was, like, cheap, um, because I can't cook very well, so I was like, you know, how am I going to stay healthy, and so I just 
decided, okay, well, maybe I can make my own soup and just put a crap ton of just healthy stuff in it, and then it will be a healthy soup, and then I will be able to say healthy. And it's got, like, onions and um, carrots and potatoes and some of this beef. Like, it's really thin. If you know Korean dishes, then you will know Shaba Shaba. If you don't know Korean dishes, perhaps it will be familiar to you if I say a uh, hot pot. That's like this really thin beef that you put in it. Healthy kimchi, yeah. <laughs> kimchi is healthy. Um, and it's just all mixed together in the soup. One time I put peas in there. Sometimes I don't put it. Sometimes I don't put carrots in there. Sometimes I just put some other stuff. Some mushrooms sometimes. Those are good. And uh, and just some, some really good vegetables and stuff. And I call it namwangu, like nam namjok namjoke wang, which means in English it means southern king, southern king soup. And I say southern king because I'm from Florida, which is in the south, and I'm also in South Korea, and I'm kind of a king, you know, I'm kind of a, I'm a little bit of a king. I rule. <laughs> so I I just call it namwangu. Gook in in Korean means soup. So, it also means country, but in this case it means soup. Like Hanguk means first country, or central unified country, one country, something like that. Jungkook means central country, uh, Miguk means, well, Miguk, Miguk is America, and I know it's short for Mihap Jungkook, which means like United, United Central Country, which is like the United States. Uh, but I like to think that Migu means beautiful country. Yeah, Hangu. I like to think that Migu means beautiful country. I like to think that it's like the Koreans saying, you know what? We like you, America. You're cool. We're going to name you beautiful country, right? And America really is a beautiful country. There's a song called America the Beautiful. It's got uh, some very, very beautiful landscapes. The Rocky Mountains, right? Um, you know, the... the um, the uh, the Great Plains is the, the word I was looking for, you know. But yeah, it's pretty funny. But um, and I know in Chinese it's similar as well. Miku, yeah. In Chinese, it's the word for America is similar. I believe it's make wall. Uh, and I and I believe you could you could say that in Chinese also means beautiful country. Um. You could say that, but I don't know. I prefer to say it. It means I prefer to say it means that in Korean. Also, there was a tremendous noise outside. I don't know who that was. I hope I hope I don't need to go get the door for somebody that's going to murder me in a few seconds. But yeah, I don't know. I I like to think about little things like that. Another thing I really like to think about that's like that's that it's just really interesting to me is like the difference between let me see make your girlfriend for hiding no i'm not hiding anybody i'm just not going to answer any questions um <laughs> i like to think about the um the difference between like some korean words and some japanese words like it's really interesting to me how in japanese the word manga is really similar to the Korean word for comic books, which is manhwa. It's really cool to think about for me, and um, and uh, what else is it? The word for teacher in Japanese is sensei, and the word for teacher in Korean is sunseng. Like sunseng nim, yes, but but like sort of sunseng. And um, so that's really interesting to think about. And, and in addition, like, a lot of people know the word senpai in Japanese. Well, the Korean word is sonbe. So it's similar. Like, and so that's really cool to think about as well. That's like, you get these similar words, right? And, you know, so, but no, I'm not hiding anybody. I can't believe you would say that. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to capture this next ruin here. And next tick, actually in a couple, uh, like in 20 seconds or something, we're going to, um, we're going to actually get the third gold reward, which is awesome. I'm going to have to, I'm going to try and get as far as I can. Neem is title. Yes, it is. That's why we call him Sunset Neem. 
Yes, that's why you say like my like Tominyog name, my my Korean name, or you could say Alexanim. It's a title, it's sort of like she, but Nim is better to use. Okay, so I did get the gold chest, and I got some seed blueprints, flame ram, and a stealth disruptor. Let's see what I get the mist warp packet, please. Nothing good. Okay. But I did get Memories of Battle, and I also got the World Through World Skirmish Plane Tickets, and also Skirmish Chests, which is so good. Let's see, I have 930 Skirmish Claim Tickets, and I'm going to need quite a bit. Uh, every single piece of Legendary Armor requires so many Claim Tickets, it requires like 1,400. But we're working our way up there, right? We're in this journey together, we're all in this together. Sejin says, she sounds better. Yes, in some cases, I, I believe sometimes it does sound better. Sometimes Neem sounds better, but especially like when in Korea when they're talking about criminals, they don't use Neem, they usually use she. Um, so you could say Alexa she or Alexa oh, Neem. But if I was a criminal, if I'm like some mass murderer or something, you wouldn't call me Alexa Neem, you would just call me Alexa she. Also, why? I thought I used Bull's Charge. It didn't actually use it. No, oh, well. Okay, alright. Um, I can't fight Mirages at all. <laughs> I suck at it. No. Boom, charge. Can I charge? Can I throw a rock at you? Boom, can I? No, I can't do any. Uh, I would call you a stupid foreigner. No, even if I'm a criminal, you shouldn't do that. <laughs> Don't call me a stupid foreigner. I won't take that very well. Um, <laughs> I can't believe that. <laughs> I've I've actually never been called a stupid foreigner in all my time in Korea, which is I'm I'm pretty thankful for that. Chung Min Hyuk Shi. Oh yeah, I've never been called a stupid foreigner. Luckily, I'm very happy about that. Um, you know, if I actually, if I get enough viewers to the stream, I think I might want to do a giveaway. I might want to get, I, I want to do a giveaway, it, it may be of a Steam key, or maybe, because I'm a good foreigner. Thank you. I try to be a good foreigner. I try to be respectful of the Korean people, and the Korean traditions, and Korean culture, and everything. I try to be respectful. At least I don't leave tuna fish on top of somebody's taxi like Logan Paul. I mean, what what the heck was he thinking? I don't understand what people are thinking when they do that. And that was in Japan, but still. I just, I don't understand how people, especially Americans, you know, Americans get so distressed when, when people come to their country and disrespect their traditions and everything, and then they'll go to any other country and disrespect their traditions. Like, it's nothing. Like, I don't understand that. But... It, it happens. It just happens. I, personally, I just want to respect the Korean people and respect their traditions and everything. And, and that's why I want to learn Korean. That's why I want to acclimate to the culture. And that's why I want to kind of, like, integrate into their society. Because American... I mean, yeah, a lot of Americans are just like that. It's not to say, you know, I, you know, I love my people, honestly. But... I guess I'm just trying to say that just like every group of people in the world, we do really stupid things sometimes. Also, I'm about to die because I'm fighting a couple of Mesmers. And Mesmers are currently Cancer. But, uh... Yeah, let me see. Uh, I don't think... Stability doesn't prevent you from getting immobilized, does it? It only prevents fear and taunt and stuff. I'm dead. Um, stability... Stability doesn't prevent immobilize. I thought it might, but it actually does not. Um, also, just a quick reminder, if you are just joining the stream, or if you've not been here for long, please feel free to click the subscribe button. It helps so much, or if you leave a like, that also helps. And also, if you uh, if you subscribe, I added a new thing where it will play a very cool animation, and it will go like on top of the stream, and it will say, this person has subscribed. It will say your name. So very, very cool. So feel free to test that out if you have not subscribed yet. Cough, cough. <laughs> um, but otherwise, we are just continuing to do World of World and chill. Even when Maguma is in dead last by very, very many points, even when Maguma is so, so far behind, 
we are going to still push forward and try and get some legendary armor because that is what we do in this series, right? That is what we do. This is how we do it. That's what this series is all about. It's all about just getting some legendary armor, relaxing, kind of overcoming all the challenges that, are, that, that come this way. And, uh, let's see, did not mention the best part. Oh, yeah, the best part is that there's a Korean word. It means, oh, my gosh, or holy crap. There's a Korean word that comes up when you subscribe. It goes, ho. Yeah, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> yep, that thing comes up. And uh, so when you subscribe, there is there is definitely that added benefit of it. So feel free to do so if you've not done so. Sejin, you should try it out. You should try it out so that your name can appear. And then it can say, ho, Sejin has subscribed. Um, uh-oh. Trying to switch targets. Here we go. Let's go ahead and use the hammer. Switch to the hammer. And I'm going to check on my traits and make sure that there's nothing wonky. Because I did for a while. You subbed a long time ago. Oh, I did not know that. Well, thank you for subscribing. I, well, that was before it was giving me notifications. So, but thank you for, thank you for uh, letting me know that you subscribed. And thank you for subscribing, of course. That really helps. I love new subscribers. Uh, let me see this. Let's see. Still on about a two minute timer. Can I afford to go and take down the sentry? I probably can. I probably can go. Let me see. Yes, it was the first time I saw you. Well, thank you so much. I'm so, so glad that you that you said so. Um, and uh, And I really, really appreciate that. And I hope that other people will subscribe to me the first time that they see me. Although it's kind of uh, a lot to ask, I guess, because, um, you know, it's kind of difficult to convince people to subscribe, I think. I think I probably have a pretty niche channel. I mean, um, for, for people that just uh, are looking for just warrior builds on Guild Wars 2, I think, I think it's pretty niche. So... I think probably it would be a little bit difficult uh, to convince people. Also, holy frick, what the frick? That was so many people that just showed up. What in the world? Holy crap. If I could make highlights, that would be that would be something that I would make a highlight of. I still don't know how to do it. When you talk to Korean, I subscribe. I think it's really cool foreigners speak our language. Well, thank you. Yeah. I enjoy speaking Korean as well, and a lot of, and well, some of my friends think it's pretty cool that I can speak Korean. But the thing is, they think I'm totally fluent in it, and uh, and so they will just like they'll hear a Korean person talking, and they'll be like, "Oh, so you can understand every word that they're saying?" And I'm just like, "Not, I mean, I can understand some, but not all of it." And. Uh, you know, sometimes sometimes Korean people talk quickly. Like I've got some Korean friends that talk so freaking fast. And I used to have a landlady that she, I think she knew I was a foreigner, and she didn't really care, and she just like, she talked in Korean so fast to me, and it's like, let me see, you do not understand all I say too. Yeah, I know. It's uh, I only understand most of what you say. I don't understand all of it. But I try, right? I'm studying. And that's more than many foreigners can say. I'm studying, and I care about it. I care about the language. It's important to me. Um, you know, and uh, and I enjoy it. You do good. Thank you. Thank you so much. And, okay, so we have captured this supply camp, and we are actually going to move north to the ruins like once again i've been oh no uh there's still a huge zerg versus zerg thing going on <laughs> over there so we are not gonna mess with that i also want to check on my traits real quick see if i'm got everything right looks like i do burst mastery is probably what i'm gonna want to do cleansing ire is also a really good one the automatic endure pain is very very good uh dogged march probably also good and 
Enchantment Collapse. Should I do Enchantment Collapse or Mage Bane Tether? I don't know. But I kind of feel like Enchantment Collapse is good. Because I kind of feel like it really, really helps with all the boon spam going on. My Bull's Charge, if I can hit it. If I can hit with it. Oh, no. Okay, no. Just... Alright. Oh, no. There's... They're just... Going along and... And... That's not good. They're just running all by me. I just wanted to leave me alone so I could capture stuff. Also, we got the champion dredge loot box. Got some Dragonite ore here. Got some gear. Um, not really anything super important, but it it helps in the everlasting battle for legendary armor. It helps, right? We're making progress. We make a little bit of progress each day, right? Every single day, the grind never stops. And you know what? That really describes not only the um, not only the quest for legendary armor, but it also describes my quest to have a popular YouTube channel. Even if my YouTube channel does not get monetized, I still would love to have a popular YouTube channel where I'm actually entertaining people. You know, where I'm actually helping people have a good time. People enjoy my videos. They come and they like to talk to me. I get to talk to you guys. I get to answer your questions. I love that idea and I want to do that. And I've wanted to do that for several years. I've wanted to do that since like 2011 when I first got my when I first got that that fast at the time computer and uh, and I was doing the Let's Play Gish. I had that game Gish. And uh, maybe I should do that game again. Maybe I should do like Let's Play Gish again. And uh, that was a fun game. But I, I have always wanted to have just a, a channel where I can make people happy and I can I can entertain people and that has really been kind of my goal since the beginning is I, I want I want to make something that people like to watch and so is this a person I can kill because I want to kill this mirage oh no I don't think do fire glue I don't know what fire glue is what is fire glue? Um, but yeah, I don't know. So, so when I see when people are like joining my stream, when people join in the chat, when somebody subscribes or comments on my video, like, um, it just is is so nice to me because I feel like I'm making a difference in somebody's life. You see. Oh, in my old video, yeah, I remember that that stuff where you like it makes smoke from my fingertips. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty funny. I remember that. It was I liked it. It was cool. <clears throat> yeah, you put you put it on your fingers and you like rub it together, and then you like bah, and it just makes smoke. It's pretty cool. I wonder where that went, because I no longer have any of it, and I wish I, I kind of wish I did have some so I could continue using it, but, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know, it's just, I've always enjoyed doing that kind of stuff, I, for a while I had this, um, this channel with my stepbrother, and, and we would make videos together, I still talk to my stepbrother sometimes, he hasn't played Guild Wars 2 for a long time, but he does He does have a Guild Wars 2 account. He plays Ranger. And, um, you know, I've always enjoyed putting videos on YouTube, but it's just, it's so accessible. It's so nice to be able to do it. And I'm, I will, I will make it happen somehow. I'm determined. I'm going to make it happen. I mean, even if I have to spend some money out of every paycheck, if I have to pay for some advertisements... And like, just get more people to see my video, you know. Even even not monetized. Like, if I if if I have to just pay for advertisements and uh, just make it work like that, then I will because I I want to entertain people, and and that's really what it comes down to. Can I actually switch? I can't actually switch away, can I? That's weird. But yeah, the <clears throat> the rampage skill uh, only lasts for 15 seconds. It's really not that much. So even if I couldn't, even if I could manually get out of it, it doesn't really. It's, it's not that great. The the Guild Wars two elite skills like they're just not that. 
I mean, they have such long cooldowns. Like, Signet of Rage is not that bad, but like, but Rampage, 180 second cooldown. Battle Standard, a 240 second cooldown. Like, and that's supposed to be an elite skill? No. 240 second cooldown is what you put if you want it to be an, a utility skill. Oh no, come on, come on. Get that guy. He can die, he can and he will. I also got some pips. Boom, backbreaker, boom. Earthshaker, boom, interrupt. Boom, he's down, he's down. Did, oh man, dang it, he got it, he got back up. Nice shirt. Nice shirt? Ah, uh, thank you. Nice. Uh, <laughs> yep. Thank you. It's got a fake tie on it. And got to use this. And full counter. Nobody triggers it. Nobody triggers a full counter. All right, let's switch back to uh, to hammer. Boom. Ah, oh, he he dodged those. Can I do earth shaker? I did. I did. I could, and I did. Full counter, and that makes me able to do Earthshaker again. Sweet. This is an insane battle. Holy frick. Okay, Bull's Charge. Can I do that? Boom! Knocked him down. Yes. Alright. He's not downed yet. I just knocked him down briefly. Boom, full counter. Boom. Boom, backbreaker. Boom. And he has so much health. Who is healing him? It's that guy. It's the Tempest. I need to work on the Tempest. Kill. Yes, I'm trying to kill. I'm trying to kill him. It's so hard. This is this is a really good battle, actually. Endure pain. Alright, I'm taking no damage from attacks, from physical attack. Boom. Boom, interrupting him. Good, I think I hit with my Wastrel's Ruin. I couldn't tell for sure, but... Boom, oh, he's almost down, he's almost down, he's almost down! He's down, sweet! Okay, if I can kill him, then I get one of the two people out of the battle. I don't know if my teammate is still here. Is my teammate still here? I can't, I can't even tell, I don't even know. Oh, no, no! What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, I was finishing. Crap. I was doing the finish thing where I press F. Oh, he's almost dead. He's almost dead. Uh, yes, I killed him. All right. I just got to take down this weaver. This weaver might be easier since I'm fighting this weaver alone. Boom, stomp. They're immune. They have that earth thing. So it was a Tempest and a Weaver. Okay. Oh man, my fingers are getting tired. Okay. And boom. Full counter. I can't do it. Come on. Bulls charge. Knocked him down. Knock back. And knock down again for backbreaker. Yes. 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 I got him. Got him. Fighting. Thank you. Got him. And can I do full counter? No, he didn't trigger it. That's fine. I interrupted him. Yes! 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 That was awesome! Oh my goodness, that was so good! And I actually fought a... For a while it was 2v1, and I actually fought him off. Wow! And you know what? Those two people are gonna go on the forums, and they're gonna beg ArenaNet to nerf Spellbreaker. <coughs> they're going to beg ArenaNet to nerf him. But I hope that we do not get nerfed, because that was awesome. That build really helped. I had a little bit of invulnerability, a little bit of stability, and I had lots of CC, and that really helped with it as well, the CC. So, wow, that was awesome. I feel so invigorated. <laughs> so we're moving on to the next ruin now. We're going to gain eight pips, or sorry, nine, which means we will get the, the fourth out of five uh, gold reward. We're also going to go up here and destroy the sentry. That was freaking awesome. 
such a good fight. Let's take down this guard real quick. And I can't interrupt that. I always use up all my uh, CC before he uses the healing, so I can't actually interrupt it. That was an awesome thing, though. Uh, let me see. Um, did did you see news of the Olympics? Um, I have seen some of the Olympics. Actually, somebody that I know actually carried the Olympic torch, which is awesome. I'm also gonna also as a side note, I'm gonna keep these loot boxes when I get them. I'm gonna try and remember to stop opening them and then like at the end of the stream i'm gonna open them all at the same time yeah uh somebody that i know actually carried the torch um for the olympics and it was really cool actually i i got to watch it and um his name is kim giju and um he carried that and he actually said my name when he was carrying the torch and the teams. Um, well, I heard that North and South Korea are marching under the same flag, which is pretty cool, and it's a lot. Of thing, it's a thing that a lot of people are opposed to, but yeah, but a lot of people are also for it. North and South together. It's pretty cool. I think um, it's it's good that they're showing some unity, because um, the last time that the Olympics were in Korea, uh, North Korea boycotted them and didn't go. But they actually are participating this time, which is really awesome. So we'll see how that turns out. I mean, I kind of think I kind of think Kim Jong Un is like doing this stuff because he knows that the president is uh, more liberal and he's not taking as strict of a stance on North Korea, and so he kind of is trying to play off of that. I don't know, but I I really don't like Kim Jong Un. I think he's He's devious. He's very par paranoid. So that kind of sucks. But I mean, I don't know. It's 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 good that they're marching under the one under the the same flag. It's it's a special flag. I don't know if you've seen it. I don't know if everyone in the stream has seen it before. But it's like um, it's like this white flag with a blue symbol of the Korean Peninsula on it. It's good for the Korean people. Yes, it is. I, I really think it is, because it kind of reminds them that, you know, these are these are our people. All of these people are, are us. I'm also going to die. There's way too many people here. Oh, what? I was able to actually, to actually get a kill, because they killed. Well, that's awesome. Okay. But yeah, that's I, I, I do think it's good for the Korean people for them to, to march over under one flag. Also, um, if you're just joining the stream, uh, this is a casual series where I'm just uh, going through World v. World and working toward Legendary Armor and just talking with the chat. Um, so if you're enjoying, please feel free to, uh, to chime in at any time or to leave a like and subscribe. It helps so much. I also have a new animation that plays when somebody subscribes. It will actually say your name up, up uh, in the middle of the screen, which is... Very cool. Something that I really was happy to set up. Hijinks. Yes, it is hijinks. Getting into hijinks with World v. World on the Maguma server and having a great time going for Legendary Armor. And that's really what this series is all about, is going for Legendary Armor and having a good time. You know? Not all uh, Legendary Armor and not all Legendary items and not all awesome things in this life have to be a grind. And... For me, I'm I'm making sure <laughs> I forgot again. Yes, the best part about the animation thing is that when when the animation thing plays, um, there is this cute Korean uh, animation that uh, that appears that says "ho" and uh, and it, that means like "oh my gosh, holy crap" in Korean. And uh, yeah, that's the thing that appears when you when you uh, subscribe. So, um, so feel free to test that out. Wink, wink, cough, cough. If you would like to see that, because it is very, very cool. Also, I'm being chased. I'm and I'm. Oh, yep. I'm gonna be killed. I'm definitely gonna be killed. I can't fight three v one. I did that two v one, and it tired the crap out of my fingers. No, this is not gonna work out. I'll fight because I would rather die on my feet than on my knees. Jump in the water. Yeah, that might... Well, that may have been a good idea, but they, they probably still would have gone after me and just killed me underwater. Oh, well. Still getting pips. Still having a good time, so I'm, I'm alright with it. 
just got to work our way up and uh, try and go for the ruins, I suppose, because the supply camps are already ours, so just go for the ruins again. Uh, let me see. What does this say? The day Mag wouldn't fight for Middle Fort. Yeah. Almost every time I would look, Maguma would have control of Stone Mist Castle, uh, but not this time when we fight Blackgate. Look, Blackgate is one of the most organized, just ruthless servers out there. They are a server that not only cares about killing, like Maguma, but they also care about capturing everything. They've got Google Docs and everything that says who's supposed to guard this and when, and, and make sure that this crap doesn't get captured. And when they capture stuff, it doesn't change hands very often. And if you look at it, look at this. They've got They've got five keeps, but they've also got Stoma's Castle, and right now they are in second place, which is very, uh, very interesting to me. But if you look at the kill death, Maguma is usually somebody that's that's doing really well with kill death. But actually, we're at 1.15. I mean, because we're really powerful. But Black Kate's 1.41, and this is the first time that I have seen Maguma actually not be in first place when it comes to kill death. I was really wondering about that. If you look at one of the previous World v. World and Chills, um, I was actually really wondering about that, about how Maguma's fighting power would actually stack up against Blackgate. And it appears as though we're not, we're just not quite there. We're not quite at, at Blackgate's uh, level of power, which is something that's really surprising because and there have been many times in the past where, where just we would be... Um, we would have like almost nothing captured. Continue your skill where school wear uniforms, or is it Western school because only English? Um, they do not wear uniforms. Uh, also, a lot of schools in America require uniforms, but um, but yeah, they do not wear uniforms. Uh, they just kind of come in whatever, and um, it's also because it's Hagwon, it's private, so they don't require a uniform. Um, yeah. The closest thing they have is like, like they on their tablets. It's like a Chungdam tablet, um, and that actually has the name of the school and everything. But there have been times when I would look and Maguma was in first place, but we had almost nothing captured except for like Stone Mist Castle or something. And the reason why we had so many points is that. We would we were killing just so much. We just we we could not stop killing. Maguma is a killing server. We're a fighting server, and uh, and so you know, for me to look at the kill death ratio and see that Maguma is actually not on top, it's surprising. And then to add on to that, it's not just that we're not on top, but we're in, in second place by a long way. Like the 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 difference is a lot. Like. We have about 2,000 more kills than deaths. Blackgate has about 6,000 more kills than deaths. Well, a little bit less. It's actually 4,400, or uh, 5,400 about. That's quite the big difference. And, uh, and even they have fewer deaths than we do, so the very, very big difference. And it's just not something that I usually see, because back when we were, we, we were against uh, Yaks Bend and Dragonbrand before, and, you know, many times we were in last place, and sometimes we are in first place, but every single time, the kill death ratio for for Maguma would be like 1.7, like minimum 1.5, and and then the other two servers couldn't even make it up to one, and that that is the fighting power of Maguma. Maguma is just I love Maguma. I'm very loyal to Maguma, but right now I just can't even believe. And the other thing about it is that when you go and when you look at um, when you look at the servers that are linked up like you see okay Maguma is linked up with uh, Devona's Rest and Sea of Sorrows is linked up with Borderless Pass I think Dragonbrand was uh, linked up with Kainang and the Isle of Janthir servers but with Blackgate it's only Blackgate. So when you see somebody green, you know exactly what server they're from because Maguma always number two. <laughs> well, well, 
I mean, there are many times when we're number one, but no, against Blackgate, yeah, Maguma's number two as far as kill death. As far as points, many times we're actually number three. We're actually in last place. I'm also going to take off this button-up shirt because it's a little it's a little bit hot thanks to the heating. Thank goodness for Korean heating, right? Heating up the floors and everything. Um, also, somebody is... Somebody's tagging an emergency waypoint. Apparently, we need some help at that tower. Uh-oh. That's not good. They're going to take one of our few towers that we have left. Also, we got a transmutation charge. Let's go ahead and use that. But I am saving all the uh, all the loot boxes for the end, so uh, stick around if you want to see me actually open all of those. Open window and freeze again. Uh, I'm not sure what that means. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. Open my window. Yeah, if I open my window, I'm going to freeze to death. I'm going to die of hypothermia. I'm going to get frostbite and everything. Currently, it is 20 degrees, which kind of makes me happy because, yes, it's very cold. 20 degrees outside. Um, it kind of makes me happy because it's warming up. It does not make me happy because of the actual objective temperature. But uh, the relative temperature, you know, it's... Um, it's much warmer than it was before or so or a couple of days ago so fortunately we can have that to look forward to and I don't actually have to work until tomorrow um, you know I can uh, I can kind of just sit back and relax for today you know so there is that I'm kind of wondering what I need to, what I can do about the copies I'm trying to get my coworker to actually send me some stuff to where um, uh, what's it called? I'm trying to get my coworker to like send me some stuff by email, to where I can then email it to somebody I know and like make copies, so that I don't have to go to work super early tomorrow. This week's warm. Next week cold again. No, I don't want it to. No, I'm there. No, I hate cold weather. I hate it so much. What was I going to do? Uh, when you go up, please. The heater to 20. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can't, I can't freaking stand. Cannot stand cold weather. But I will make it. I will make it through somehow. What was I going to do? Oh, I always forget. I'm also going to die. I, yeah, I'm dying. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know that I'm about to die. Boom. Boom. Knock back. Dang it. Charge? Can I do charge? Oh no. That's not good. Okay. I'm out of here. I'm dead. <laughs> I was going to be out of here, but I'm dead. <laughs> Whoops. Just go ahead and finish me. Alright. We got it. All right, so I could probably capture a supply camp now. I actually, um, I was taking a look at it, and I can capture a supply camp, so that's good. Oh, yeah, yeah, What I was going to do is I was going to go to Twitter, and I was going to advertise that I'm streaming um, so that hopefully some people from Twitter can, um, can join in on the stream. And I might stream for a little more than two hours today because... Uh, because I don't have any other plans for today, so like usually if I have a lot of plans Then I will only stream for two hours, but in a situation like this where I have like nothing planned for the whole day Then I can actually stream for longer which is cool. It's, it's good. I'm glad. I'm very glad. I'm very happy Okay, let's see what's going on. But thank you for letting me know that a player was killing me, Sejin. That was very helpful. Okay. You need to do copy. Yes, I do need to do copies, but I can't I can't do it right now because I don't have access to a copy machine at home and I need a total of like a hundred and fifty pages, and that's gonna be really expensive if I go to a PC room, so it sucks. Um let me see. Um, 
Oh, not at. I was trying to do a hashtag. 150. Yeah. Uh, like 150 pages. And I need to do that. So. Because I need. I have like a whole bunch of papers and I need nine copies of each one. One for each of my students. That's going to suck. Yeah, it's a lot. It's going to be very expensive. And do you know the price of copying stuff in a PC room, by the way? I mean, could you just like kind of let me know? Because that would be very helpful if you could do that. Um, okay, I'm going to share this on Twitter. Just going to go ahead and copy the link here. And I'm just going to say, you know, streaming Guild Wars 2. Just drop in and say hello. All right, and tweet. Um, apparently, why does it say this merchant life? Because it's not this merchant life. <laughs> it's it's world. It's definitely world v world and chill. Okay, I've I've checked it, and it appears as though. It appears as though it's working. All right, so. I'm going to go and hopefully that timer has run out. It's at two minutes still. That's fine. But I have advertised it on Twitter, so hopefully we should get a couple other hundred viewers now. See, so wait. Oh, you're going to check. Okay, thank you so much. I, I really appreciate that. Because I really need those copies. It's for like a practice test. Because um, on Thursday, they're having the actual level test. Where they, where they test to see if they can actually level up. And so Tuesday, which is tomorrow, is the practice test. Stretching! Stretching! I love stretching! <laughs> oh, stretching is one of the greatest things in the whole entire world. I love stretching. Stretching is amazing. Okay, Rakuman Dali. That's kind of a cool name. Using Signet of the Ether. You healed every few seconds based on the number of illusions you control. Okay, kind of cool. Cool Signet. And I am pretty close to actually getting a new loot box. I'm going to get uh, 160 things. Which is not going to be enough for the next two, for the next Harpy loot boxes next tick, but in two ticks I, it will be enough. And also, I am going to get my last gold reward next tick, which is very cool. I'm going to get enough pips to actually finish off my gold chest, and I will be in platinum, I believe. Let's see, what's next? Platinum, I think? Yeah, platinum. And then after that, it's just simply mithril and diamond. Uh, it says different bonds to different price. Yeah, I probably, I figured that. But, like, if you could just give me, like, an estimate, just, like about how much it is, I would really appreciate that, if it's possible. Um, yeah. Okay, so, oh, you know what? I'm not even wearing my Spellbreaker necklace. I can't believe it. I'm not wearing my Spellbreaker necklace. Where did it go? I think I know where it is. I think it's out there on the, on the, on the bar. Just left my necklace on the bar. But, uh, but yeah, it's probably, I mean, it's probably going to be quite expensive. I kind of expect that. So if it's not too expensive, then I guess I could go do it at a PC room. But I, I don't think it's going to be, like, I think it will be ex expensive. 150 papers? Like, yeah, it's a lot. They probably won't really actually like me being there either. They'll be they'll probably be like, why is this freaking guy? Like, why is he here just hogging the computer? Or they're like, hogging the coffee machine. What the frick? This is a place where you go and play video games. This is not a place where you make copies. But you can. You can do that. I don't know. I'll find a way somehow. Also, wait. Oh, okay, I was, I was wondering. I was like... Why are our players inside there? Join squad. I'm going to join the squad. Very cool. So we're now in an actual squad. That's kind of cool. Screen. What's screen? Screen behind. 
Why are people saying that? To the tower. With 15 plus SOS, they went to EK. Um, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. It doesn't say. Oh man, that sucks. Then I'll probably just have to see if I can get it emailed to me. We'll see. Uh, let's see. Alright, so we got these loot boxes. I'm not going to open them yet. I did get some Mystic Coins. But I'm not going to open them yet. Oh, and I thought I wasn't going to get the loot boxes. But I did, somehow. Am I getting, like, some reward track progress? Uh, what's going on? Oh! Oh, I did not notice that! No, no, no! Maybe phone ask. Yeah, I might have to ask him if, by calling them. I might have to. We will see. We will definitely have to see. Oh, yeah. No, that's not going to happen. That's a bunch of Blackgate. That's Blackgate. That's not going to happen. That's just... You just got to get away. That's, that's the ultimate course of action. You just got to get away. I'm up all night to get some. But <laughs> somebody in the map chat says... And I hope my voice is holding out. I mean, I am sick. And, um, you know, I've got kind of a sore throat. But I'm trying, I'm doing my best to make sure I could talk for you guys. Talk for everybody in the stream. Hopefully, you know, we will see. But I'm trying. And yes, Blackgate controls Sh Shadowrun Hills, but perhaps I can capture this supply camp. It's protected for like three and a half minutes, but we can go there and we can pay him a visit. We can try. We can see. So that's what we're going to try to do. We're going to try and go and capture the supply camp. Capture Honestly, capturing supply camps is really good because it allows you to get progress. Do you like Bang? I do like Bang. I like Nori Bang, PC Bang, uh, Bang. <laughs> I really like Nori Bang, especially PC Bang. Um, yeah, sometimes I like it. It's got they've got super fast internet, and I like to go there with somebody that doesn't have Guild Wars Two and play Guild Wars Two with them. Or if they don't have a PC at home, then I can go there and play Guild Wars Two with them. Um, it's really fun. But, um, if I'm just by myself, I would never go there because I, uh, just, I, it's free at home. Like, I just, I'm paying for internet, so might as well. At least at my new place, I actually have Wi-Fi, and so I'm actually paying for the internet here. Um, at my old place, I didn't even have Wi-Fi. They just had, they had this wired internet, but it was just included. Nodebang is really fun. I love I love going to Nodebang. Um, honestly, my favorite of the bangs. And it's fun just uh, just to be like with a group of friends and and just like just like sing, you know. For my birthday, I'm gonna get some friends together and I'm gonna just go to Nodebang. It's gonna be really fun. I'm expecting to have quite a bit of fun. And I'm dead. I'm gonna die from this freaking NPC. Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. I'm gonna die. Definitely gonna die, but that is okay. That is totally cool. You know why? Because, I mean, it just is. Alright, it's just cool. Let's see. Sing only with friends. No, Yeah, yeah, that's true. In American karaoke, it's quite different. In American karaoke, you kind of sing for an audience. Um, and you, like, sing in front of people that you don't really know. It's like a karaoke night at some place. Yeah, and fun no strangers like in the USA yes um, but in Korea it's like you go into this private room for just you and your friends why is this hawk invulnerable I can't kill this freaking hawk he's there we go all right but yeah in in uh, Korea you go into like, this private room with just your friends and you uh, 
and you could just like sing just for them and people that are on the outside can't really sometimes sometimes uh i will hear somebody like some drunk people in the other in the other room like next to me or whatever and they'll be singing really badly and we just like to take a laugh at them but but you can't hear other people laughing so there you go i mean <laughs> That's just the way it works out. That's the way the cookie crumbles. It's really fun, actually. It's 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 pretty fun. One of my favorite things to do in Korea is go to Noregang. And um, some people have suggested other bangs, like Jimjirbang. No, Jimjirbang. If you don't speak Korean, it is. Um, <clears throat> it's like a sauna, basically, and it is so just. I don't know. It's like. I, I just can't do it. I can't do it. I'm not going to be nude in front of strangers. It's not what I do. It's not me. But in Korea, they could just do it easily. I don't understand it. Have I seen Idol before? I don't I don't know if you're talking about, like, have I actually... In Norebang? Have I actually seen... I don't know. If, I don't know if you're talking about, like, K-pop stars. Have I actually seen a K-pop Idol in a Norebang? No. If, that, if that's what you're asking, then absolutely not. But that would be awesome. And also, like, with the modern K-pop, I don't know enough about it in order to, um... I, I don't know en enough about modern K-pop in order to, like, actually be able to recognize a lot of the modern K-pop stars. But, idol. <laughs> yeah, um... But if I did, then perhaps... Perhaps I just didn't recognize them. Also, I'm about to sneeze. Please don't sneeze. Please don't sneeze! I'm good. <laughs> oh man, I hate being sick. I hate being sick, but is there a timer? There's still a three minute timer on this. I'm gonna go to the uh, ruins and see if I can just take care of the ruins. By the way, if you are new to the stream, um, if you are, if you're just joining us or if you've joined for a while and I haven't explained it yet, uh, or if you're new to the series, then feel free to listen while I explain this. Um, this series is all about me casually working toward legendary armor in Guild Wars 2. While I have a good time, I chat with uh, with the viewers in the chat and uh, just just work toward legendary armor a little bit every day. And that's just what I do here. So if you if you have a question for me, I live in Korea, by the way. So if you have a question for my life or about my life in Korea, then feel free to ask that. Uh, or if you just want to sit back and watch, then feel free to do so. Get some snacks and enjoy the show. Because I am here to make sure that everybody has a good time. So um, so feel free to do that. Also, if you really want to support me, there are links in the description. Subscribing, liking. You know how to support YouTubers. You know how to do it. You know the drill. So I'm not going to really talk about that too much. But back to the stream. I'm gonna go capture these ruins while I wait for that timer to run out. I think I could probably capture two ruins and then go back to the supply camp. Hopefully we don't run into a zerg on the way. And we've actually been quite lucky that we're getting... Wait a second. Oh, we're in first place right now. We're in first place. Hold on. Why are we in first place? Can we, like, hold this for, like, two more minutes? I hope. Can we actually do this? We do not... We do not have, like, a super high KD ratio, but it is above one. So, it's not usual for Maguma, but it's it's still higher than one. So, um, so as long as we can maintain that, and we are we're in first place. I can't believe that we're getting eleven pips. If all goes well, I don't really think we're gonna win against Black Eight. Uh, one point, no, please. We just gotta keep it for a minute and twenty seconds. All right, three points ahead. We can do this. I think we can do this. I I think we can. Uh, one point. We are one point ahead. One more minute. If we can keep that, when we get 11 pips. Okay, no. Screw the NPC. Oh, it's gonna be a 2v1, isn't it? No, it's no, it's not. It's a uh, it's a ranger. It's a ranger, and I couldn't kill him. <laughs> I suck at this! <laughs> That's fine. We're getting better. We're slowly getting better. And I think it's also the fact that our cooldowns were kind of like messed with because like we were kind of like partially already into the rotation. Um, 
and so we were fighting that NPC that was already focused on on us and like um, and then we had that extra player join in so it was like it was sort of like a 2v1 except not really it's it's only kind of a 2v1 if you suck like me <laughs> so oh well but uh, but it, we probably can go capture this supply yeah we can there's no timer left on it excellent job that's a relief all right, so um, let's see what we got here. We got the supply camp. We got some pips. Oh, we only got nine. We fell back to third place already. <laughs> Dang it, man. That's a real shame because I really I was counting on staying in first, and we're so far behind too. It's because we have so few holdings. Like we have so few actual things that we're holding on to. So. Also, I really apologize for the congestion. I, I really wish I could just kind of snap my fingers and not be congested. But, can't do that, unfortunately. Let's see if we can capture the supply camp, though. Just to, uh, you know, contribute a little bit. We just need participation. That's really all we need to do. And I'm going to say this again. I've said this before, but I'm actually going to say this again. I think certain skills for Spellbreaker really need to be reworked. Because, really, currently, the only two skills that are actually worth it for Spellbreaker are Shatter Enchantments, uh, and Utility, I mean. Shatter, uh, sorry, Break Enchantments and Featherfoot Grace. I think Sight Beyond Sight and Intimate Threat are kind of useless uh, in, like, all game modes. Like, Sight Beyond Sight has a tiny bit of use in World v. World, where you've got a lot of players that can stealth. But I think it would be so much, u so much more useful if you could either just like one of two things either make me immune to blindness don't make me just remove blindness make me immune to blindness or you can uh just let me use it like every five seconds like don't make the countdown 20 seconds just let me freaking use that and use it and use it and continuously uh, reveal people because that is a that is a utility skill like i'm using an entire slot for that which I could be using on four seconds of invulnerability. Also, my sensitivity is way too high. Yeah, I could be using it on four seconds of invulnerability, or a three-second knockdown, or four seconds of being completely unable to be knocked down. Um, or or what else? Do you have the banners that increase stats of everything? I'm wasting an entire utility skill. Just let me continuously use that thing. Make it good enough to where I feel like I want to take it. And right now, those skills are so undertuned. Now, don't get me wrong. Natural healing is, a, is an amazing skill. Also, I'm going to die from this weaver. Have fun watching me die. Oh, yeah, weaver and somebody else. I could... Yeah, no, that didn't work out. Uh, weaver and a ranger. Boom, dead. Yeah, it was a Weaver and a Rager that got me, unfortunately. That's fine. I mean, it happens, right? But bring crazy friends. I wish I could. I'm going to see if he's on, actually. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if he's on. I doubt he's on at this time. But um, I'm going to see if I can... Uh, let me check. Check my friends list. And is he online? Looks like he's not... <laughs> yeah, Yeah, Sedge says I die alone. Um... Yeah, unfortunately I did. No, my crazy friend Dizzy Doom is not online right now. Unfortunately, if he was online, then I would have to bring him in, but he is not, so that kind of stinks. But yeah, oh well. That's fine. We're just going to have to uh, just wreck house by ourselves, you know? Just without him. We're just going to have to own face. We can capture that supply camp. We're going to actually head over there and see if we can. And you know what's so cool about being outnumbered on a map like this? You know what's so cool about that? Is that when we die, we don't damage the armor. So it's pretty nice. You don't ever have to worry about actually going to one of those vendors and repairing your armor. It sucks when you have to go do that. I also have a power strip on this wall and it's like taped to the wall. And I use like duct tape and... I didn't I don't think I did it quite efficiently enough so it's like slowly like leaning down from the wall and I'm just like no please don't fall and I have to like periodically put some more duct tape on it 
the saying in English is, if you can't fix it with duct tape, you're not using enough duct tape. Right? Am I right? Um, and I've told that to Korean people and they think that's hilarious. The ones that I've told anyway. Something that's really interesting about being an expat is the, the humor. You know, because I, I live in Korea, but I'm an American. And, and there are certain things that I find really funny. And certain things that my Korean friends do not find funny at all. And... And it just is kind of baffling to me. And sometimes it's um, sometimes it's the other way around, where they think something is so so hilarious, and I just think it's just mildly funny, or just or sometimes not even funny at all. And it's kind of interesting to me how the styles of humor are so different, um, you know, because um, there are a lot of things where, like, if I show somebody in America, then I know for sure that they're going to think it's funny. Some things are just like, just funny, right? If you've got a sense of humor, you think it's funny. Uh, but but uh, in Korea, you just can't be sure of that. Also, get away from me, NPCs. Stop. Stop. Would you stop it, please? I don't really appreciate that. Also, um, I have got a lot of loot boxes kind of saved up, saved up for World v. World. So if you actually want to see what's inside, feel free to stick around because at the end of the stream, I'm going to be opening all of them to see what I get. I've got the Superior Siege Blueprints. I've got this heavy supply bag. I've got these Harpy loot boxes. I've got the Miss Warp packets. And of course, I've got the Skirmish Chest. Skirmish Chest, I mean, it's not really a chance-based thing, but you can get some pretty cool stuff out of that sometimes. I mean, sometimes, but that's another that's another story. A story for another day. But the next thing that we're gonna get is the veteran fire elemental loot box, which is very very cool. Uh, within two ticks, I believe. And when we get the two when we get the two ticks, we will get that box and we'll just kind of save it, right? We'll save it until the end of the stream. And then if you want to see it, if you want to actually see, um, then then you gotta just uh, wait, you know. Just gotta wait till the end of the stream. I'm trapping you guys. You're trapped. You're screwed. <laughs> no, you're not screwed. Um, but uh, by the way, uh, to anybody that's watching the stream, I hope you are having a fantastic day. I just wanna, I, I just wanna ask you guys, um, how are you guys doing? Can you just tell me, you know, what? Uh, how, did you have a good weekend? Tell me how your weekend was. Tell me what you did. If you had a nice time. What you ate over the weekend. Let's get some... Oh, let's get something other than death going in my stream. Let's get something other than my own death. This is not going to work out for me, is it? Nope. Not going to work out. I did Juggernaut, but that's not enough. Boom, charge. It's still not enough. I'm going to die. Yep. Died. I mean, I survived for a decent amount of time, right? Right? Please? Like, did I? I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna, I'm gonna freaking sneeze. Don't sneeze. Don't sneeze. Don't sneeze. Don't sneeze. Do not. Do not sneeze. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Sejin says no. Why did you say no? No. I hope you're having a good week. I hope you had a good weekend. It is Monday, but still. <laughs> yeah, the sneeze. No. <laughs> I don't want to sneeze. Like, when I'm not sick, sneezing feels really good. But when I'm sick, I hate sneezing so bad. And I don't even have any tissues in my room. Oh, wait. Yes, I do. I do have tissues in my room. But, um, but hopefully I will never have to use them because hopefully I will never sneeze. <laughs> <coughs> okay, so we're going over here and we're going to try and capture the supply camp. It's actually got a, two, a three minute timer, so we're going to actually go and capture a ruin first, right where we died before, close to where we died before, Temple of the Fallen. I'm going to go ahead and try to do that, and we'll see how that works out. 
We've now been streaming for over two hours and had a great time so far. Oh, whoops. I probably shouldn't... Well, I guess that was probably the best stun break I could have used. Because it recharges the fastest. If I use Endure Pain, then yeah, it doesn't give me stability, but... It recharges in a in 60 seconds, like, so... Perhaps instead of using Endure Pain, maybe... Well, I was thinking about maybe running Shake It Off. Shake It Off. Where is that? Here. Because Shake It Off removes conditions as well as being a stun break. Uh, but it doesn't provide that invulnerability. And sometimes that invulnerability is quite useful. So we're actually going to just stick with Endure Pain. If you guys have a better suggestion for my build, like one that will not get me killed by this Soul Beast right now, Please feel free to to uh, to uh, to subscribe, yes, but also to suggest that because I'm probably gonna die from these two people, and I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Every okay, I have a question. So why is it that every single time I encounter somebody, I encounter like two or three people? Look at this. There's three people: a spellbreaker, a core warrior, and a soul beast. Three people, huh? Why is this? Why, why do I have to deal with this? I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to deal with like tons and tons of people. Why, why can't I just find like soloers? Sometimes I do find soloers and it's really fun to actually take them on sometimes. And sometimes they're really, really good and it, and it stinks because I kind of suck. So, um, so sometimes, uh, soloers are not always the best thing. Sometimes it's best to be around my allies. But, doesn't matter, you know. I mean, really, honestly, PvE is my game mode of choice. I don't raid, but honestly, PvE is the, 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 the place that I actually try and and uh, get good. And that's where all my builds so far on the, about the, you know how I do uh, warrior builds on my channel. And... So far, the focus of the warrior builds has been PvE. Um, so that is why, you know, if you're wondering why I suck so bad um, at PvP at, at World v. World, it's because... Oh, oh, what? I downed him already! That's awesome! That is so cool! Where'd he go? There he is. If you're wondering why I suck so much at uh, World v. World, well, that's why, because I mostly play PvE. And, um, and, uh, I just, I'm just not as good at World v. World. It's just not something I've practiced as much in. Um, but World v. World is what I stream. PvE is what I make videos about. Also, that is Cobalt. That is a really cool greatsword skin. And he's a spellbreaker, and he's got bloodlust, and healing signet. And the celebration boost, what is that? Does that, uh, world be world rank gain? But it does not, it does not include world be world reward track progress. Um, it only does 10% bonus to PvP reward track progress. So, dang it, man, dang it. But, and then let's see, what do I need to do? I need to defend an objective. And... A veteran creature slayer okay so where where could I find a veteran creature well probably it would have to be like over here if I could get there or I think there's one in the desert like um, in the desert borderlands if I go to here somewhere around dust whisper well but it's so far away right I'm gonna have to see if I can also SSS what is this Silver Star Society. Uh, I, I like. I don't. <laughs> I don't really want to get gang banged again. I don't really. I'm not too interested in that. However, also look at that cat or the. I don't know. Trebuchet cannon catapult. I don't know. Something's going on at that tower though. I'm not really sure what it is. There's that. Uh, that thing up there, I don't know what that is. Is that a shield generator? Is that just a, some random airship or something? Oh. Aha. Yeah. What? Who said that? 
I heard somebody say something in the game. I mean, I promise it's not in my head. I promise. I don't know, man. I do not know. Also, let's see if I get any kind of... I don't have any kind of extra messages or anything. Um, I, I do... Occasionally, I will get an email if somebody subscribes to me or if somebody comments on my video, something like that. Um, and so I have to give those people a shout-out. I like I like giving shout-outs, right? I like I like to uh, help out people that uh, that help me out. Okay, so I did get a another chest, and I also get another two Miss Warp packets, actually. I think this is... Oh, this is a platinum reward. So I get two Miss War packets. Also get some interesting word track progress and some worldly world claims tickets. All that, all that crap. So we're gonna save the loot boxes as always, and we're gonna open them all right at the end. When we get to the end, man, we're gonna have tons and tons of loot boxes to open, and that is gonna be awesome. It's gonna be really, really cool. Also, let me take a look at my stream health. Okay, 9, 3 a.m. Looks stream health is excellent. Okay, well that's good. So, as long as YouTube is telling me that my stream health is excellent, then that's that's what really matters. Just trying to make sure. Also, um, if you're watching, why don't you tell me your favorite food? Maybe we could talk about food. Um, I like talking about new things, right? And so, yeah, it'd be kind of cool to, to, to see what you guys' favorite food is. Right? It's fun for me. Hopefully also fun for you. Also, I'm I'm almost ranked 33. Very cool. Which means I'm going to get... Uh, isn't that, is there another chest of the mists or something that I'm going to get? Something for ranking up. Sorry about that, Yawn. Um, okay, it appears as though the coast is clear over here. So we're going to go for the ruin. And by the way, if you're watching right now, I just want to let you know that I am so, so thankful that you're watching. Just uh, even your viewership that really helps me out so much, and I just appreciate it so much. We're a tight community over here at this channel. And, um, and so everyone is important. You're not just a number to me. You are a real-life person, and I appreciate you. So I just wanted you to know that. Okay, and uh, we're gonna go to this sentry over here. After we capture this ruin, of course. And we're gonna go ahead and see if we can possibly do something about this. Trying to, I, I might try to like grind through a little bit of platinum today because the thing is, the day when World v. World reset, I was really occupied because, um, because of the thing in my faucet, like, people over here trying to fix my faucet. So I actually didn't play a lot of World v. World. I played a little bit of it yesterday, which is the day after reset. And, of course, I'm playing today. But I, I barely played anything, uh, the first day. So, I should be, this is the third day, so I should be... Let's see, if I did two chests a day, then I should be getting to the middle of Mithril today. If I'm, if I want to be like on schedule, if I want to actually be on task and make sure that I complete it in a pretty good amount of time. That's if I, that's if I want to complete like, that's if I want to complete all the way up to Diamond in like five days. But if I want to complete, um, if I just want to complete one chest a day, then I'm already ahead. Because if I just, then today I would just have to complete silver. But I'm already on platinum, so we're fine. Interrupt. Oh, dude, this, this guy doesn't have stability. He doesn't have any stability. Oh, he has a little bit. He's mini. He's miniature. Miniature. Oh, come on. No. No, don't run away. I've got to get you. I'm going to get you. He's a hollow... I will get you. Interrupt. Boom. And that. And full counter. Boom. Breaching strike again. 
Oh, he's getting close. He's getting close. Boom. Boom. Knock back. Boom. Earthshaker. Let's go. We can do, we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. We got to do this. We got to freaking do this. He's running. He's he's going to try to run away at some point. Interrupt. And Wastrel's Ruin. I got him. Yes. Yes. I got him. And full counter. Boom. Oh, no. oh that's a green. That's a black gate. But he's dead, and I got some experience. Now I gotta try and take down this guy. Round two, man. Round two. A full counter. I don't know if I can. Get, I don't know if I can get this guy. He's Black Gate, so with Black Gate, you gotta assume the worst. You gotta assume they're the very best players the entire game, or at least at World versus World. Boom. No, I can't even, I can't even, uh, like, be sure that I'm gonna hit with the Earthshaker. Yeah, I can't get this guy. I did get the Hollow Smith, but, uh, the Daredevil cannot get the Daredevil. And sometimes I can, sometimes I can get the Daredevils, but, uh, but this time I could not. I, I, at least I got the Hollow Smith, I will say that. At least I got the Hollow Smith. So, there is that. Okay, so uh, let's see if we can capture the supply camp. I don't, I don't think I saw a timer on that thing, did I? Um, a little bit of a timer. So uh, we're gonna run out here, and we're actually gonna capture this sentry here. We're just gonna run straight out and just see what we can do. See what we can contribute as a solo roamer. Okay, and <clears throat> slowly I'm getting better. This orange juice helps. It's actually technically not orange juice, it's uh, Jeju Kamgyur juice. Only available in Korea. It is Minute Maid. Wait, hold on. Take a look at this, guys. It is Minute Maid, but it's Jeju Kamgyur. And it's only available in Korea. Pretty cool. Minute Maid's an American company, but they do have a special thing for Korea. Because in Jeju, they have these... Um, these special orange things, orange fruits, and they're very good. And so Minute Maid was just like, hey, let's make a freaking juice out of this. You know what I freaking mean, man? You know what I mean? So they made it, and it's quite good, and it helps me with my sore throat. So I'm glad about that. All right. Um, I'm thinking maybe I will finish streaming at like noon, which is like another 30 minutes. So probably that's going to be the end of my stream. Sorry, my mom made me clean. Oh, it's totally fine. I can understand. Sometimes you got to do that stuff. Um, I remember when my parents made me clean. <laughs> I hated it. But you got to do it sometimes. Okay, we were not able to interrupt the healing skill, but luckily we could kill him before he actually used it. Very cool. And uh, let's see what we got for abilities. I want my brother here. I say to him, he have to do. <laughs> yeah, it's true. When your brother is there, you say, "Hey, brother, clean this for me." Also, I'm rank 33. Good. Got a special chest of the mist. I also got a rare. I'm gonna salvage that when everything is over and done with. Also, I could probably probably start doing this. He's younger. Oh, he's younger. I can say he has to do it. Yeah, it's true. But you got a younger brother. I was always the younger brother, right? I have an older brother, and he would always make me do stuff. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh uh, yeah, that didn't work out so well. Got a scrapper and a warrior. Boom. Yep. Whoops. That didn't work out so well. I kind of feel like we need more skills in Guild Wars 2. I, I kind of feel like that's what we need. Like, add some more skills from Guild Wars 1. Let me see. I'm my brother's dad plus sister because you tell him what to do. No. <laughs> Don't be too mean. <coughs> or water. Don't be too mean. Be nice to your siblings. 
Also, we have six. We have six reward points, so we can go to Provisions Master and buy this thing. Also, allows you to also purchase food and utility consumables from the Portable Provisioner. Very cool. No, because he has no dad and I'm a good sister. Oh, well, that's sweet. Be a good sister. I, I bet you are one of the best sisters in the whole world. You know, I bet you're a really good sister. Let's see about this portable provisioner. So I can now actually purchase food and consumables. Food, yes. Wow, look at that. That's pretty cool. And I got another chest with Norn loot boxes. Yeah, look at Sejin. The best sister in the whole world. And my Dong saying. Okay, uh, so I got that, and we are here. We're here, so the next thing we're going to do is the crafting material coffer. I believe. Is that what it's called? Crafting material coffer, yes. Yes, you're my Dong Sang, Sejin. You're my Dong Sang. <laughs> okay. <coughs> We're going to capture the supply camp right now. If you are new to the stream, if you just recently joined or something like that, then uh, I'm just going to briefly I'm gonna briefly explain this again. If you're watching this as a video, this is going to seem super repetitive, but I, uh, I am going to explain it just for some new people that may have joined the stream. Um, this is a casual series where I'm slowly uh, working my way up toward Legendary Armor in Guild Wars 2. Long thing said, yes, <laughs> and um, and I'm chatting. I'm chatting with the people watching and uh, having a great time. That's really the main idea behind the series is to just have a great time. So if you want to chime in and ask me a question about my life in Korea, pl please feel free. <clears throat> if you don't, if you just want to watch, Nuna, Nuna, you're not my Nuna. <laughs> um, and if you don't want to chime in in the chat, then uh, just feel free to just sit back and relax, grab some snacks, right? And uh, and just enjoy the show, right? I live to entertain, so that is what I am doing today. And that is what I do. Basically, this series goes uh, a lot. I, I, I try to stream this most days of the week, so... You know, if you enjoy the series, it's Chomin Yonk Oppa. Yes, I am your Oppa. I hope I'm a good oppa. That kind of sounded like, I hope I'm a good oppa. It's a little weird. <laughs> also, if another way, another good way to actually support my stream um, is if you uh, just suggest my stream to your friends. I say like that, yeah. If you just, like, suggest a stream to your friends, if you, like, if you're Korean and you say, like, Oppa, yeah. If you're Korean and you know some Korean people that might like to watch a foreigner playing Guild Wars 2 in, in Korea, then uh, feel free to suggest it to them. And also, uh, if you're not Korean and you speak English as your primary language, then that's also cool. Uh, feel free to kind of just suggest that as a Guild Wars 2 streamer, you know, because I'm a Guild Wars 2 screamer. Stream screamer. No, I am not a screamer. I'm a streamer. I say, Oppa! <laughs> That's cool. That's excellent. My boyfriend thinks it's cute. Yeah, it is. It is. It's very cute. It's quite cute. I had girls say that to me before. Oppa! <laughs> one time, one time, I just uh, time somebody said to me, Oppa! Ta da! <laughs> I remember that. Also, somebody said for me to call. Someone said for me to call. And yeah, that it was pretty funny. I'm also dying. I'm gonna die. This is a mirage, and even if he came at me with like full health, <laughs> yep, I died. I gotta change my chat settings because Sejin, when you say something like you die, it automatically hides it, and I have to, 
Another moderator just handled this. Yeah, but I want to keep it. When when you say something like you die, it tells me and it like and it makes me say like, "Oh, do you want to hide it or show it?" And I want to show it cuz I don't care. I don't care if you say you die. But that's weird. I clicked on show, but I don't know if it actually showed. It just says another moderator handled this. <clears throat> But I need to open Kakao Talk from my computer. And I did get five pips. Or sorry, not five pips. Nine pips. Ah, there we go. It says you die in the chat. So I think it actually went through. Which is good. Also, I don't understand why Skype is still open on my computer. Is it still? Hold on. Okay. It's... Skype, I, I'm going to close Skype on my computer because I don't need Skype open. I'm trying to open Kakao Talk on my computer. Aha, you guys heard that. I'm trying to open Kakao Talk on my computer, but it is not opening. I don't know why. Okay. Let me see. And... We've got uh, somebody streamer or somebody uh, somebody liked my Instagram post. You know, Opaya. Um, do I know Opaya? I mean, yeah, I know what that means. That's like when you're talking to Opa. Okay, one second. I'm just checking this message on my phone. I can't check the message on my computer. Or whatever. No, it's a song. No, I have never heard that song. I have never heard that song. Alright, and I've just got the stream going on my phone just to make sure it's okay. Okay, so, um... Let me see. Right now, it's not displaying properly. Uh, Guild Wars 2 is not actually displaying properly. It's showing me the taskbar, which is kind of like... Okay, now it's not showing the taskbar, so I think I got it. I think I've got it! Let's see. <laughs> Um, okay, so let me see if I can translate that. So, for those of you that can't speak Korean, let me see if I can translate that. So, yes, I know it's song lyrics. It's, it's song lyrics for a song called Opaya. And it says, like, you look, you look like a person I really like. Um, and if I lost you then I would die, so I'm talking to you. <laughs> Something like that. I think that's about what it says. Probably not exactly, but... <clears throat> Something like that. Alright, so we're going to capture this ruin here. And... Yep. Getting close to the crafting material coffer, which is pretty cool. Let me see, 195 will get me... Um, like 450, no, 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 405, I believe. I believe that will get me there. And you get a reward every 500 points. And that is the song, if anybody wants to check out that song. I can't check it on on stream, I'm sorry. But if anybody would like to check out that song, then it's in chat. Okay, so I'm capturing the ruin. I am having a great time capturing this ruin. This ruin is so fun to capture! <laughs> I think today I, I probably had a more successful stream than some other days. Um, I think some more people joined me for the stream, and maybe the people that joined usually stayed for longer, which is pretty cool. Uh, always a nice thing to see. Um, and I actually did get a new subscriber today, so I'm very happy about that. I'm just... 
the grind never stops you know I want I want an important YouTube channel I want a popular YouTube channel some something that people people can watch and enjoy that's really I, I just really want something that people can enjoy when they watch and uh, you know because of that then you know I that's that's why I do this and I'm also about to die I die for you <laughs> for you beautiful people also oh that freaking miniature the freaking miniature thing is gonna heal up yep gonna heal up dang it man Dude, oh what that okay the miniature is pretty uh, that's pretty OP honestly he could just kind of like go invulnerable a lot I don't know exactly how it works but it's that that's OP he just use she just use invulnerability twice in a very short period of time and actually was able to run away when she realized that she was not gonna win so that is not cool. Also, it appears as though next tick we will get the next platinum reward, which is also good. Always good. Always, always good. Also, I've got to look up and see how many memories of battle. Oh, stretching. Ugh. I've got to look up and see how many memories of battle we actually need for each piece of legendary armor. Because if we if we just only need one stack, then then I could just sell these extra ones, make it. A little, a little bit of extra money. There's a teddy bear. Oh, <laughs> um, yeah, 1.6 gold. Estimated profit. Oh, I didn't know this. Estimated profit, 1.42 silver. It's cool. But um, bear is me. Oh yeah, yep. Because I stretch. I'm gonna stretch again. Watch this. Oh, it feels so good to stretch. Stretching feels so great. Oh, you know what? You know what I actually forgot to show? Is I have a thing on the corner that shows me my viewers. Except it's not working properly, I don't think. It's not properly walking, working. Right now it shows uh, zero. But that's not true. It's actually not true. So I don't know exactly how that's going to work. Um... I would love to be able to show that in my streams, um, to where it would have in the in the bottom left corner. I don't know if you saw that. Um, to have in the bottom left corner, where it just shows my um, how many viewers I have at the moment. It's it would be pretty cool to be able to do that. And I I tried it, but obviously currently it's not working. So whoops. Okay. Okay. And uh Okay, and soon I'm going to be gaining a few things. Soon I'm going to be doing that and I'm also going to be gaining Yeah, actually next tick in 2 minutes I'm going to gain the crafting material coffer as well as the next planet reward. So, there you go. There you go. Excellent job. You have permission to stay in Korea always. Um, not yet. I'm still working on it. I Currently, my visa is going to last until this November, but I'm trying to get it... Uh, I mean, I can always get it renewed, but I'm, I'm trying to get a permanent residency pretty soon. Um, hopefully, I'm going to see if I can try and get something done with that this weekend. Um, and I've got to apply for that, and they've got to, like, keep my passport for, like, a really long time. Um, and then I can get permanent residency. If I can get a permanent residency in Korea, then I'm all set. Like, I can stay here as long as I want in Korea, and, uh, I can vote after three years, I think. I think I can vote after three years. So there you go. There is that. There is that in fact so we're probably going to be here for another like three more ticks in addition to this one so so technically four more ticks hopefully that'll be actually enough to gain another loot box do not need passport if you don't want to leave that's true um i just hope i get my i i hope i get my passport uh back in time to go back to florida for christmas 
Um, if not, then I might have to just go back for my birthday, which would kind of stink, but... Uh, Republic of Korea passport to no, because um, you only you can only do that if you're a citizen, and I'm not gonna become a citizen, just a permanent resident. Um, <clears throat> my goal is just to be able to stay here and work and do whatever I want legally. Um, <clears throat> I don't need to actually become a citizen. If I become a citizen, then I need to like join the army and stuff. <laughs> so, and because I'm not really interested in joining the army. This guy's AFK, look at this. Knock back, boom, knock down. He's got the automatic endure pain. That's it. There's that tick right there, by the way. PT dubs. I just finish him off right here. Another loot box, crafting material coffer. And yeah, very cool. 14 skirmish chests. We're gonna see how much I actually get. And we also have uh, seven misport packets. So hopefully we can get something very useful out of that. Army is not long. Yeah, two years is a long time. <laughs> I don't want to join the army for two years. I actually don't want to go in the armed forces at all and in, in Korea or America. And it's nothing against the people that are in it. Um, you know, because I'm very appreciative of, of the things that they do for, for their country and mine. Uh, but it's not for me. Not something I am interested in. Not something I want to do. Some, some people may say that's disrespectful. I don't really care because I respect them. My grandfather fought in the Korean War. He fought in Korea. And um, he was a Marine. And my friend is a Marine. U.S. Army. USA Army want to be an Army. I'm not sure. Is it Korea? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. And, yeah, Korea has, um, like, conscription laws where you have to join the Army if you're a guy anyway or a man. Um, and in America, you don't need to. It's it's not. Uh, it's not you have you have to join um, a thing called selective service, which is not really the same because it's basically um, selective service is like there's not a draft, but if there is one, then you need then you're going to have to sign up for it. Um, like if we decide to reinstitute the draft. So that's, it's similar in that respect. It's not the same, um, but, you know, it's fine. You know, it's fine, fine, we're fine. I really don't like the draft, though. I don't like conscription. I don't like it. I don't like laws that require you to join the, require you to join the army. Because, honestly, you should just have a country that is so good that that people don't need to be forced to protect it, right? You know, like... <laughs> Like, I have no doubt that if that if we were attacked, if America was attacked, then we wouldn't need a draft. We wouldn't, I mean, probably there would be a lot of people that would just, like, sign up. If America was attacked, I might sign up, right, to defend my country, right? But as it stands, I'm not really interested in fighting in some politician's, like, pet war. Um, <laughs> which is, I'm not saying anything about what we're involved in currently, but, you know, you never know. The politicians can kind of do what they want. Congress has the power to declare war. The president has the power, the War Powers Act, where he could do basically whatever he wants for 90 days, um, you know, and all of that stuff. And I just, I don't want to be a part of it. I don't want to be involved in it. And it's like, like I said, it's no disrespect to the people that are actually in it, but it's just not for me. It's not just not something that I am interested in doing so you know that's just how my thoughts work that's just how my mind works also we appear to be let's see we're getting nine ticks this time see I want to be an army if we have a real war yeah I mean like same here if if there's an actual war then probably I would sign up because uh, I want to protect America but um, but as it stands right now, the um, United States is kind of just involved in a lot of places where it's, it's not a war. And um, we're not actually, many times we're not actually protecting America. We're just like protecting another country. See, foreigner leave plus old people leave plus kids leave plus 
18 to 35 years old stay and defend. <laughs> well, I mean, the problem with that, with that is the logistics because that sounds like a really good idea, but the problem is, first of all, who's having all the babies, right? Baby, the people having all the babies are the 18 to 35 year olds. And so if all those people die, then you've got no next generation. I mean, you've got the kids, right? But it, a huge portion of your people are gonna die. Yes, I know kids also have babies, but once they grow up, not when they're kids. <laughs> but, um, oh crap, I'm gonna die. I'm probably gonna die. Yeah, I'm dead. Two people, two people killed me, it's a 2v1. But uh, not only that, how are you going to actually get the people out? Like, how are you going to actually corral all the kids and all the old people and all the foreigners and get them out of the country fast enough? Like, if you do it after the war starts, then you've got no time. If you do it before the war starts, then somebody's going to realize, probably North Korea is probably going to realize, wait a second, Korea is getting all those people out of the country or out of Seoul or something like that. Then then they're probably going to anticipate something and probably preemptively strike. The army, you can you can organize it using the army, sure. But then is the army escorting people out of the country or is the army fighting to defend the country? It's You got to like, South never starts the war. <laughs> yep. That's ideal. But the North would probably see oh now it's the perfect time to strike because they're getting they're getting all the people out of the country and everything so you know probably that would that would be happening also i'm probably we're no longer even outnumbered so actually probably after this tick i'm probably going to just open all the loot boxes and then we will see about, i'm going to die again then we will see about uh and uh, to wrap up the stream, we will get another. Uh, we will get the Raptor loot boxes. Um, I don't. I mean, we're gonna get the Raptor loot boxes after we win or after this tick. So there is one more group of loot boxes that we will be able to open, but um, not too much beyond that. And just some extra pips, you know. He's got a shield. He's got the ghastly she. She has the ghastly grinning shield. Boom, kick. Oh, so many blocks. <laughs> Charge, boom. Got so much stability and everything. Kick. Oh no, I'm I'm done with kick. Oh, of course they got the endure pain. Oh man, I tried to do Wasteful's Ruin, but it didn't work. No, I'm gonna die. Boom. Yes. And the chat says you die. I can't. Let me see. I'm gonna click on show. There you go. I interrupted. It's another blue. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm so dead. Whoops. Died. Oh well. The dagger shield combo. For a while, dagger shield was meta. Now the meta is greatsword hammer. And I think it. I think greatsword hammer also runs discipline and defense. But I think it runs like top 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 instead of what I'm running, which is top bottom top. So there's that. I'm thinking about going strength, but the problem is if I go strength, then like for might makes right basically and go mage bane tether. But if I go strength, then I'm giving up a lot of things from discipline and I'm not going to give up defense. So I'm giving up a lot of things from discipline, like the, the movement speed, the extra adrenaline, right? Um, and the fast hands, the weapon swapping in only five seconds, that's really, really useful. So if I go strength, I'm giving that up. And why? For some extra passive healing, perhaps some, perhaps some good, uh, perhaps a good trait for greatsword. Um, but I don't really want to use greatsword, honestly. <laughs> um, greatsword is okay. I have used it before. 
It's okay for World v. World, it kind of sucks for PvE. But uh, also this tick is going to happen before that timer runs out, so I'll probably just uh, just chill out. Wait for the next tick, and then we can get another loot box, and we can head off and see what we got from the loot boxes. Okay. I mean, yeah, I just I don't really want to use greatsword. It's a good mobility weapon, and it does a decent amount of damage. It's not, it's not great. It's not like it's not anywhere close to axes, right? Axes are amazing for damage, but when when it comes to greatsword, it's not that great. <laughs> great, it's it's okay sword. That's what it is. All right, so that's that pip. I got or is that that tick? I got four uh, four pips. I am once again outnumbered, but I think I'm just going to uh, head back and see what's in my loot boxes now. Let's go ahead and leave the mists. Okay, and we will see what we got, so stick around because we have not yet checked our loot boxes. Let's see what we've got. Do I have anything else? Um, anything else? How did the Edge Master uploaded a video? Okay, no new quick call talk messages or anything. Nobody knew that uh, subscribe or comment commented on my videos, which is fine. That's totally fine. Also, please feel free to check out my latest warrior build. It's called the, the uh, Smoking Gun Berserker. Very cool. I like it. All right, so let's go ahead and first we're going to salvage all this stuff. Boom, salvaging all that. So we get a lot of luck and... We've got all this stuff. And we can deposit that. Okay, so uh, we can also deposit the mithril and the silk. All right, now let's see what we got. So we got the crafting material coffer. Boom. Got some stuff we can deposit. We've got the raptor loot boxes. Oh, actually, you know what? Okay. So I'm going to actually just like sell all this extra stuff and so we can just like tally up exactly what we got out of the World v. World loot. We're going to tally it up. Sejin is clapping. Thank you. Thank you so much for clapping. For clapping. Okay, we can sell this as well. We also have 37 extra memories of battle. Oh, the trick post is so slow oh it's painful it's painful oh crap I accidentally deposited the silk I didn't mean to do that next time it'll be more organized I'll actually remember what to do okay we got two silver here I think totems are actually fetching a pretty good price right now okay uh, so then I'm going to go to Miani and just like sell some extra stuff sell the junk sell the runes I might sneeze. Please don't sneeze. Stand back, said the elephant. I'm going to sneeze. Uh, I'm good. Let's sell this. So many runes, man. Just so many freaking runes. Runes and sigils. Look, minor rune of the grove, minor sigil of ogre slaying, minor sigil of chilling, minor sigil of hobbling. All of these freaking runes. Okay, so we're good. We're good there, and we're going to bring this stuff back. We've also got Imperial Fragments, which we will just leave right there. I mean, we're probably going to make some Imperial Stars, but anyway. So, let's see. Dong Seng Sejin Chomin Hyung Ba. Thank you. Yes, I'm so glad that you're my Dong Seng Sejin. All right, let's go with the Raptor loot boxes. Let's see what we get. Some more gear. Harpy loot boxes. Some more gear. And a little bit of uh, potent blood. Superior uh, arrow cart, very cool. Heavy supply bag, we got some silk. And we've got the veteran fire elemental loot box, let's open that. And we got three obsidian shards, as always, gilded strong box, which means some crafting materials and some gear. And chest of the mist, which is a tome of knowledge, and we got uh, six testimonies of heroics. Two Norn loot boxes, which is some crafting materials here, elaborate totem, very cool there. And uh, 14 skirmish chests, which I will use in order to gain 84 testimonies of heroics. Thank goodness we could gain so many. All right, and let's go ahead and open seven Miss War packets. Are you ready? Ready? Boom. Nothing. <laughs> Dang it. 
it's it's some good stuff. I mean, you got the platinum ore, right? You got the coarse leather. You got the hardwood. But those those are not really like amazing. Those are just um, just stuff that's kind of expensive to buy on the trading post, and that it's just pretty useful to get. Boom. Yes, that's it. Boom. All right, so I'm gonna sort out the rest of this loot. Got to sell some stuff on the trading post once again because we got a bunch of crate, uh, a bunch of crafting materials that we cannot actually use. Or we have too many of, actually. We have a little bit too many of them. So, um, I'm going to sell them. The vials of radiant dust here, or sorry, not the uh, radiant, it's incandescent. Those actually get a really good price. I like being able to sell those. Those are always nice to get. Over, It's like 2.6 silver, whereas this is like 1.59 a piece. 1.59 a piece. And then the bones, the large bones, are 86 silver a piece and then like the scales let's see the scales are 83 silver a piece and I bet you the claws are also pretty cheap uh, let's see yeah 88 silver a piece so they're not all that ex expensive um, it's really just the piles of incandescent dust and the totems as well we also got some junk items which we can sell for just a tiny bit of copper all right, so that's it. Uh, that's all that loot, and we also got those extra memories of battle. Still deciding on on where to use those and everything, uh, but we did end up getting a triumphant armor piece today, and we got almost halfway to another piece, which is very cool. Um, we also were able to work our way up. I started today, I believe, uh, in the beginning of. No, I started my way halfway through silver, and I made it all the way through silver, all the way to, through gold, and almost halfway through platinum, which is pretty cool. So I was made, I was able to have a very, very productive stream. I'm very, very glad about that, very glad um, that I got uh, some people to watch. Um, and I really, really hope, guys, I really hope that this was really entertaining to you. If you really enjoyed the stream, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe, and there are also links in the description of how to support me, uh, Patreon and chill, if you know what I mean, and, um, <laughs> and I try to stream every day, so I probably will be back at least for a little while tomorrow, but once again, I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.